What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Straight Up TV. Today is April 17th. Welcome to Straight Up TV. I am All Star. And I am your Texas queen. Hello, hello. If this is your first time tuning in, man, I need you to hit that like, subscribe, and share button, man. I need you to do it. Do all three at the same time. Queen, what's going on? See, they can do it. They multi-talented. Yeah, it's, free. it's free. Go ahead and subscribe. Listen, if you're back for the second time, the third time, the fourth time, and this is your fifth time or whatever it is, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. You at home. This this is your place to be. This is your place to be. Queen, I'm tired, man. Had a long weekend. Oh, man. Please don't tell me about tired. Let, let me I tell you something, Queen. Uh, you, had three, three, you had three gentlemen who came up to me and said, where is queen? Where what? is queen? Where is queen? One, two, yeah. three? Three of them dudes. Three of them dudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One, two Friday, two Friday and one Saturday. I said, mm -hmm. man, I don't know. She didn't, she didn't come. She didn't come. Y'all, 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 y'all present yourself on the show. Let me see who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pick between the three. No, I'm just joking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But that was nice. That was nice. Yeah, they watch. They watching. You know, they watch. I appreciate that. They're watching. Mm -hmm. So let's get this thing going on. So listen, uh, this is the recap, and you know the purpose of the recap is to let the platform. You know, we can congratulate those guys. We can break the event down. You know, talk about the event. We also going to bring on the winners. We're going to bring on the winners to congratulate the winners, and then I'll talk Absolutely. about the scorecard too. Because this event was on the scorecard. So we got a lot to break down, but we definitely want to let them talk and tell us, you know, what it took to make this uh, event happen. And we're going to go from there. So uh, you got anything you got to say before we get started? I do. I want to say hello, hello to our chat group. Okay. And of course, Miss Shanika Paradise then claimed her top spot. She the first one. Oh, hey, Shanika. She let me tell you. Let me tell you, man. Uh, I mean, <laughs> She she was working the shit out that camera this weekend. Cause listen, that sun, that sun, listen, when, when you have a production camera, not like a little hundred dollar camera, when you have a real a thousand dollar camera, you have uh -huh. to work it. You have to work it. The ISO, the the F stop, the shutter speed, you have to work because the because the sun doesn't stay in the same spot. It moves every five, 10 minutes. Right. The sun is moving, and you have to constantly work. If you're in manual mode mode, it's better. Because if you set it, it's going to be a set. It it's going to be set to a certain uh, setting. But when the sun moves or comes down a little bit, you have to adjust. And she did a she did a great job, man. She's she's she killed the game on that one. Good. Like, I hope you got paid for all of that, then. That's killed all I'm saying. Put a little put a little bird in somebody's ear. Miss Celeste is on here. Show okay. you, hey, show you what's up. He's on here. What's Go up? 22. Show you. What's and up? Mr. Bougie is on here. That's who's watching Chris thus far. Bougie. Team light him up. All right, so let's get him in here, man. Hey, but, hey, hey. Also, Mr. Mr. Like the Night made it the news. He's on the news, <laughs> man. Mr. Hey, don't blow his head up, though. Don't blow I his head. I don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't blow his head up. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna get. Uh, let's go to South Carolina. We're gonna bring in the DJ. DJ. D nice. D nice. What's up, DJ D nice? What is that? What, what, is, that? what is that? I don't know, it's, man. It's just me. I'm. A, I'm it's here. just yeah. <laughs> you, hey, you're not on air right now, right? 
No, not right now. What, hey, for, for all our viewers, what radio station do are you at? I'm on Star 99.7 in Charleston, South Carolina. Star 99.7. All right. A bunch of stars come that way? Do a bunch of stars come over there, Dina? Yeah. What? Yes. I know. I just had yes. to yes. I just had to ask. I already yes. know. <laughs> All right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We're going to go to Virginia. He's another DJ. Cozy Customs. What's up, Cozy? What's going on, All Star? Everything hey, good? Cozy. How you doing, Miss Queen? I'm All good. Right. How you doing? You rested? Are you rested? I'm trying to recover, so I got back. <laughs> it looked like it. I ended up getting back and got got sick. I had a uh -oh. hundred fever yesterday. Wow, Jesus! I hate flying. Mm. People, mm -hmm. people just nasty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He said people nasty. Coughing, coughing, and all kind. Man, man, you ain't got nowhere to go. You ain't got nowhere to go. <laughs> all right, so let me keep moving. Let me get our next guest. We're gonna go to San Antonio, Texas. Oh, we're before we get. move real quick, let me just say this. I, I don't want to be rude to anybody, but Cozy has not eaten, so I might be sliding out the screen a little bit. <laughs> okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Let's get uh, San Antonio. We're going to go to Tony LaShawn. Hey, Miss LTN, a.k.a. Triple Threat. How you doing? I'm doing like D-Nice. See what you don't start it, man. Okay. See what you don't start it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What All right. Oh my God. Let me get uh Mr. Light the Night in here so we can get this thing going on. Mr. Light the Night, Mr. Vernon Walker. What's up? What's bro? up, everybody? How y'all doing? We going good, man. We're doing good. What's up? What's up, Mr. Superstar? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can show my whole face now after being on the news. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Yeah, wow. hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, wow. Father. Wow. What's up, Shane? Shane and Greta, what's going on? All right, so let me get the winners in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring um, the winner. So we do the recap. The recap is so that we can bring the platform on and we can talk about the event. They can break it down. We can talk about the things that they did. We want, we want to talk about how and what it took to make this event happen, stuff like that. All right. So sometimes we like to give credit to the people that's in the back that doesn't, that don't get credit. So um, let's go ahead and bring in the winners. First, we want to go with, we want to go with Florida. She's known world, world she's known by everybody. Worldwide. Goes by the name of Lemon Drop. Lemon Drop. What's up, Lemon Drop? How you doing? Guys, how are you? We good. We good. Look at Jack. What y'all drinking? <laughs> Lemon drops. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, welcome. Let me get our other champion in here. She is a welterweight champion. She's a welterweight champion of Biloxi, Mississippi. We're gonna bring in the famous stuff, Phoenix. What's up, Phoenix? <laughs> Not much. How are you? Everything's good. Everything's good. All right. So we have one more guest, and I think he's there. Let me see if he's there. And it is Mr. Uh, Alan Jones from Audio Hogs and also SU TV sponsor. Alan, you there? Yo, yo. What's going on, people? What's going on? I, wish Sir, I had one of those um, real nice, cool introductions. Oh my God, oh, man! You know, I wasn't on the news and all, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, just stand, stand by me at all events; you'll be discovered. <laughs> What's going on, good people? What's up, man? Welcome to the show, man. All right, so first, I want to say, man, congratulations uh, to the Three World Showdown for your first event of 2024. It was an awesome event in Bluxy, Mississippi, man. So uh, let me give y'all a little clap here. For that hard work, great show, great show, great show. Um, Round of applause. Yes, 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 yes. Um, to the winners too, Phoenix and Lemon Drop, uh, and congratulations to you guys. Now, uh, uh, Megatron was the LED champion, but Megatron's birthday is is uh is like I think his birthday was yesterday, so he's a uh, he he's uh celebrating his birthday right now, so he's not going to be here. Probably but we want to celebrate his birthday. But we want to shout him out as the LED champion of this uh, 
Bluxy, uh, Mississippi. So shout out to Megatron for that. All right, so let's go ahead and break it down, man. Let's start off with the Friday night team battles, man. Let's start off. Because, listen, I'm going to put it out there. This was the – this. listen, I think my video – on uh, Sean, I don't know how many video – I don't know how many likes you got or how many views you got, Sean. I put it on Facebook. I think it's over 25K. I'm at 2,500. So uh, this, this was a really crazy Friday night team battles, man. Uh oh, did you freeze up, Vernon? No. Oh, man. <laughs> you gotta act like you're ace. Really? Hey, what's wrong with you, man? <sighs> I had to get you one time, baby. One time. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, what did you do different, man? Like, how many games did you play on the Friday night team battles, man? Because I know it was Arkansas against Atlanta, man. Man, Arkansas against Atlanta. Good battle. But uh, you know, Atlanta got experience, man. They got T on there. He hyped it up. Oh, uh, yeah. Arkansas was kind of out of the element. It was their first time doing it. Yeah. Then after that, we had a second team come in. Um, who was the second team? Was it Florida? I don't remember. Somebody help me here. Who, who was the I second was team? Florida. But the Atlanta, Atlanta kind of went through them too. Yeah. But uh, actually, there still was some surprises because Rodney won around for base. Yeah, and yeah, his bike was on, man. At the base, yeah. he hit and he took out took out that heavy hitter. So, team battles, man. It's it's something that we came up with to try to break it up on Friday night, man. Have a good time. Uh, we're not real serious about winners and losers. You just get in, play songs under yeah. different sets of rules, pick people, call them out. It's kind of like a five man, five on five grudge match. Yeah. So, uh, so the choices are uh, parking lot pimping. That's one. Uh, the other one is uh, what is the other other? Thing? Any genre. Any genre. You and country. You pick it. You pick, it. you pick it. Yeah, you pick it. You pick it. Best base and best then base. traditional. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's it's you know you started that last year and it's really it's it's a hit it's a hit man because uh a lot of people get into it man a lot of people get into it so it's it's definitely a hit i hope you keep that keep that going uh so i want to commend you man cuz you pulled out some uh you pulled out some kid judges man man we like to get everybody involved actually yeah. the kids they've seen it or, or or seen it on video so they'll walk up and say uh, can you use me? Can I be a judge? You know, I'm, and these are kids. Yeah. Like, wow. You watch the show. Yeah, like, yeah, I want to be a judge. All right, you just just be by the ring when it starts. Yeah. And I, yeah. I'll come up with something for y'all to do. Yeah. And you I definitely love had it. They love it. Yeah, yeah. And then and then uh, you know, you, you, I have to mention that you you gave him a little little token of appreciation, a little money, you know what I'm saying? And uh that was that was cool because the kids, you know, the kids are kids. <laughs> That yeah, cool. we like to, like to ask them about the grades, see yeah. how they go in school. Yeah. Um, those that are doing good in school, we give them a little donation, and then and even the ones that aren't doing that well, we give them something and say, "Hey, it'll get better." You know, they, they, most of them are probably like me. I was struggling. You know, couldn't get a hold of that. I'm, I'm still trying to learn fourth grade math right now. Yeah. Helping yeah. my little one out with fourth grade math. Shoot, I'm, I'm asking Siri. I'm asking Lex. I'm asking everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it was it was uh the team battles was really uh, a hit Friday night. So uh I'm glad you had that, man. That's a good that's a good look. Uh and, and then I think Arkansas, it was their first time getting in it, and I think they enjoyed themselves, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, surprisingly, Arkansas was the first one to even put a team together. They had their five people lined up early. They're talking about they seen it, they want to try it, they saw the videos, they wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah, it was nice, it was nice. I need to get lemon drop on one of them teams. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you like, <laughs> on the team? So let them drop on one team and jack on the other one. <laughs> yeah. As long yeah. as I'm playing against him, we got it. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, man. Uh man, like I said, the team battles, Friday night team battles was awesome, man. Uh keep that going, man. It's it's a lot of crowd participation. They really get crunk for it, man. I said people that are not even in the contest, they're 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 chanting. They're dancing. They're they're actually telling you who the winner is. All you got to do is watch the crowd. They'll tell you who the winner is. That's right. That's right. Everybody's into it though. They really love it. They into it. Yeah, it's crazy. 
It's crazy. But when when they had to play that kid song, I was like, oh my God. They both had to play kid song. I was like, this is crazy. This is crazy. And the yeah. country. The country. Yeah, the, problem, <laughs> the problem is everybody been watching now. So they, they ready for those now. Country, everybody got a country song they hiding, a kid song they have. When we first did it, they were standing around trying to find them. Now everybody's got them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing I thought someone was gonna play Beyonce. I thought somebody was I gonna play too. Beyonce. I thought somebody was I gonna did. play that too. I did. I did. I did. I thought somebody was definitely gonna play Beyonce uh song, but they didn't do it, man. It, it wasn't it. gonna win. That's why they didn't do it. They wasn't gonna win. Shit, Beyonce, that song has got some beats to it, man. Stop you, can't it. you can't never go against Beyonce. Yeah, that's the beehive. That's the beehive. DJ D Nice. That's the beehive. Yeah, you don't want that yeah. smoke with the bee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came yeah. Yeah. in the right sense. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, I used to like tonight. Yeah, bro, you had you had two DJs going doing their thing at the same time. Cozy was outside rocking the parking lot, and DJ D Nice was in the party tent rocking the party tent, man. Yeah, I decided to let my two backups go ahead and play. Yeah. Get, get him some oh, time. Oh, they're the backups. Yeah. You know, yeah, you know. I was waiting on Alan to get there because me and Alan was about to come in and tear it up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 you know, I got you, bro. Guy, I got man. you, bro. He was about to have two <laughs> DJ battles. <laughs> hey, D, handle my light work, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Yeah. I've been fortunate enough to have two very, very good DJs on the team. And both are willing to come out and spend time playing. Yeah. So that's been that's been an excellent addition to the show during the day because they they they're both excellent DJs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then they, you know yeah, yeah. Stuff, they have me there to help them out, you know, with a mix or something. So you know, I help them. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. look good with you playing, D nice. That look good. He, that, he was, always... that was the audio hogs display inside the party tent. Yeah. That look good. Yeah. I recognize that. Yeah, it's something about something about DJ Cozy when he when he turning and he went on the ones and twos. He's a different person though. You don't really talk to him when he's when yeah he's yeah. He concentrate. Just leave him alone, man. <laughs> he turned around and asked me about power and cell phone. I said, man, just take it, man. Just take it. Just take <laughs> it. I want no trouble, bro. I want no trouble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, tell him what you did. Oh man, Vernon. So listen, Devin Marine, he's supposed to be on here. I sent him a link. Devin had gave me this really strong power strip, right? Uh-huh. Uh, and it was one of those power strips that you got to go straight to the generator with it. You can't plug it into something that's that's plugged to something that's plugged to something. You got to go straight to the generator. So uh -huh. when I plugged it into something that's just plugged to something that's just plugged to something. I shut everything down. I shut everything. Oh, you don't want to shut the the, the turn down. down. But, no. but I owned up oh. to it. I owned up to it. I owned up to it. That was the second time. The first you did it twice. Was, no, the first time it got shut down because somebody wanted to charge their bike and they plugged their, their charger into a surge protector, which everybody knows is not enough amperage. Oh, well, you got to go straight off the generator. With we won't put his name out there, but it, but it got a diamond in it somewhere. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there getting there all of a sudden, boom, everything went black. Yeah, man, I apologize. I, I took I took listen, I took accountability for it though. Cozy, can I get credit for that? I, I raised my hand like I was in a basketball game. I, it's me, referee. It's me. Yeah, you're you right, you right. It, you, it's you, not you. like you could lie. <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> we just look on the ground and see where the court was going. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Pretty much. Man. Why is people saying my mic? Can y'all hear me clearly? Yeah, yeah, I can. It hear is you. muffled. It's muffled. A little more, you're a little lower than everybody else, I think. Hold on. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna turn you up. I'm gonna turn you up. Turn my mic. I got you turned up now. So he turned you down. Check one. No, no, no. I got the, let me okay. drop turn down. Let me drop a little. Yeah. Let me turn lemon drop up a little bit. All right. Let me look at everybody levels. And All right. Myself, everybody's okay. good. Everybody's good. Marquise, am I still? Am I still muffled? You're good. Thank you, y'all. And they, I ain't got no control over that. So I now yeah. we know where the real problem's coming from. Hater. Oh, come on, I thought we was cool, Austin. Yeah, we, we cool, man. You already know he don't know how to plug things up, right? Oh, oh saying, where's God. that super chat at? That's probably what Jesus the problem is. Hey, I gotta put some money in that super chat. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna we're gonna jump to uh real fast. We're gonna go to the local news in Mississippi. 
We're going to jump to the local news <laughs> in Mississippi. And let's see what they doing. After this, y'all are done. I'm going to be the only person on the show. Let's, let's go to the local news, ladies and gentlemen. Queen, is anybody in the chat? We got anybody in the chat talking, Queen? Before we go King to the news? Lazy Lay. Hey, King, King Lazy Lay. He in the chat. Marquis said good. Shane, you already the people we already said hey to. They still okay. hanging with us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to tap into Biloxi, Mississippi news station. We're going to tap into it and see what they're talking about. We'll be right back. Beaches of Biloxi were occupied by Spring Breakers, a parking lot next to King Jack's, organizer of the three-wheel showdown event that gave people a chance to enjoy showing off their slingshot. The competition tours around the country make it stops in places like Atlanta, Texas, and Louisiana. In these events, Denard received his slingshot from his wife and is forever grateful for that gift. Hey. This event is about bringing people together while also contributing to organizations like the Battered Women's Shelter and Food Pantries. They also say there should be more events like this for future festivals. As long as you got three wheels, you're part of the family. You cannot beat it. I'm telling you. Get you a slingshot. shot. You will love it. See some of the most dynamic bikes in the area. These bikes have come from all over the country. There's bikes here from Atlanta, from Texas, from Louisiana, from Arkansas. Come out, meet the people, shake hands. Watch them turns. Wow. Wow. <laughs> hey, you Vernon. Get the version. Okay, okay. Vernon. Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling about that, man? Man, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good because originally when we shot it, I thought those guys was from a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, your first your first event, you on the local news, bruh. Man, hey, it's good for the slingshot community all over. Yeah. You get people to see that there's uh, a group of older <laughs> individuals out hanging out, doing some positive things for the community. When you take you your show, old? I said older. <laughs> Senior. <laughs> Uh, they see that uh, we're there bringing stuff to communities all over the country. When you do 14, 16 shows, you meet a lot of people. You get to introduce a lot of individuals to the slingshot community, especially somewhere like Biloxi, where they don't have a dealership. They don't have a base group. And yeah. you come in there, virtually every single person that comes there travels there. Yeah. So it's always good for the community when they get to run into a, a cross section of individuals doing something that they haven't seen before that's positive in their area. We might have created some new slingshot buyers just from that uh that news report. Right, nice, nice. What well, a it was nice, man. You came in, they seen they seen what you were doing, walked in, wanted to get an interview, man. It's nice, nice. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, quick question. Was that the original theme bike that was in there, or was it somebody that made a second one? I think that's the, the original. That's the original. Is that the original? That's the yeah. original. Mm -hmm. Hadn't seen that in a while. Yeah, yeah. He pulled in there floating, floating with them rims. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Really nice. All right, man. Let's keep it going, man. Hey, let's talk about this food, man. Because listen, y'all, I heard y'all saying seconds and thirds. I heard, I seen y'all walking around trying to give out the food, man. Yes, sir. So, that's awesome, man. Yeah. The thing about it is that the the people that were at the event, they didn't have to pull out their wallet for those two two meals, Friday and Saturday, man. If they don't tell you, Vernon, when you see them in line waiting to get the food, that's them telling you thank you when they in line waiting to get the food. <laughs> man, that's I them saying it. thank you. And, and for once, man, we went somewhere. We got a place between there and, and, and Myrtle, man. Um, the food is really good. Yeah. If you if people who missed the meal went inside and ate, the, we went inside and ate. The food was really, really good. Good, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good, man. That that's awesome. It's it's just it's just awesome. It's an awesome bonus when you can get a free meal at the event because you know people are already gonna budget for a meal, but when you can get a free meal too, man, it just goes a long way. A meal tastes a lot better when it's free. <sighs> When I went in there and paid, it was good, but the free food mm -hmm. downstairs was a little bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wouldn't know how that is. I, I don't know what a free meal is. I ain't oh, never was, was you working so hard? Did you miss the food? Somebody didn't bring you a plate, Cozy? Oh, my God. Look at look yeah. the way you're looking, man. He looks, he looks, he looks salty. <laughs> <laughs> what you DJ, do nice uh, eating. 
Oh, he ain't gonna miss no man. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I was froze for a second. <laughs> you were froze, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DJ D Nice in the party tent, DJing. Hey, man. Did you get some of the food, man? I had to make sure everybody else was gonna enjoy the food before we served it. Right, 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 man. The right. good thing I was about serving, it, I, was, I was serving too. Yeah. You were serving? Yeah, you were serving served. and you didn't eat. You know, it's always good to be able to have an event where you can give something to every single person that's there. Yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah. first day we served over 150. No, he didn't catch it. <laughs> we served over 150 <laughs> plates of food. Yeah. Uh, the second that was on day, Friday. That was on Friday. That was that was on Friday. Uh, and then Saturday we, we we hit around that same range again. Yeah. So it was the great. Cozy nice. purposely do that. Cozy, you purposely Put something did on that. his tooth. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, like, I know he purposely did that. <laughs> so we hope we do stuff like that at, at more of the events too. Yeah. 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 And when, and when I say it was, it was, it was way more than enough because you guys were making announcements to come and eat this food. I mean, you had beef, you had pork, you had baked beans, potato salad, chicken wings. You had a, you had everything, you had everything, man. It was yeah, we had all. Yeah, <laughs> you missed it. You missed it, man. You were so like, <laughs> what, 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 I got, I got like a little morsel of beans. They were like, we had some other stuff, but we ran out. No man, they had chicken wings. The first item I think was chicken wings, and then it went to like pork sliders, beef sliders. Look, look, go back and look at my video. I got, I got some of it on my man. video. Man. Baked beans. Hey, before I forget, man, we want to give a shout out to uh, LJ. She yes. helped set all of that up. The mm -hmm. food with the restaurant, man. She did a great job setting up that food thing. I'm gonna tell she you. Did. Yeah, that's, that's the first time I've ever been to an event where they said the the beans were slamming. The baked beans was good. The beans were good. Yeah, the baked beans was good, bro. The beans on. Mm. Wait, man, Cole, did you eat the beans or didn't you eat? Which one? Yeah, did you eat? I had a little morsel of beans. Didn't you hear me the first time? Oh, yeah, a morsel. Stop it. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! You had and to go old school and just take the beans and stick them in the bread. Somebody needed. over there, because I was DJ and I would try to get my food, but somebody else was trying to get my food at the same time. It was a, it was almost all the popping, man. Yeah, it was about to be all about the Benjamins up in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it was good, man. Hey, all the food was good, man. The food was good. All right, man. So we already talked about Friday night team battles. We talked about Ar Arkansas versus Atlanta, the kid judges. We talked about you gave out the kids some money, man, for their good grades in school. We just talked about the food. Now let's talk about that party tent, man. The party tent. It was hey. awesome, man. That's my first time seeing the party tent, man. When you first walk in there, it's the lights to get you. It's the lights to get you. The audio hall lights, that's what get you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, and the yeah. people, the people that wasn't slingshot owners that was walking in or whatever. They was going straight to the tent. Oh, we can go to the. We can go in there. Oh, we we allowed to go in there. I was like, yeah, go in the party tent. They was. They didn't think they was allowed to go in there. They thought it was like some type of VIPs only or something. But I said, nah, go on in there, man. Why well, I got stopped at the door then? I don't know, man. See, they had hey hey I, hey. You got the people that's indoors and you got people that's outdoors, and it seemed like they did a flip this time. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Queen, who's that in the... Oh, Queen, we got a lot of people in the chat. Yes. That's a lot. We got, the, so we got the, 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 the two orange... What is it? Animal and, and Miss Cynthia's off in here in the chat. Lotus. Hey, Lotus. They're in Lotus. the chat. And Darwin Hawkins. Who is that? We know. He's that solo. Is. That's solo. That's what I thought that name was. That's oh, the solo. Goodness. He just got the brakes beat off him in basketball later, earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he just got yes. the, the brakes oh, beat up. Can not forget the trailer god. The, the trailer, trailer god, god is in here. The trailer god's in here. Wow, <laughs> look what he said. He <laughs> says <laughs> beans gave him gas, man. <laughs> so, like, you had gas <laughs> for <me>, them beans. <laughs> wow, the beans oh, gave him gas. You know that uh, that party tent, man. You got to talk to Alan about that. That that was his baby. Yes, sir. Uh, he came in with it and said, hey, this is how we're going to do it. I didn't know they got the pool tables in there and all the other stuff up in there. I leave and come back and the thing's all furnished and everything. Yes, sir. Mm, yes, sir. The way we it's had, supposed we, to be. We had yes, complimentary sir. hookahs. Hookahs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pool. When I seen the pool table, I said, wow. Man, I hate it. 
Yeah, what we had, I think we got pool tables out there. We had a slot machine. Um, yeah, like a little air hockey thing over there in the corner. But I hate that I could get, I hate I couldn't get there sooner, man, so we can actually enjoy that thing the way we were supposed to, man. But hey, that's the party 10. I'm excited that we're going to be able to have it at more events, too, so y'all can be able to see what this thing really like, man, once we get in there and pack that thing out. Yeah. Hey, I want to say something about the slots, man. They robbing folks over there. Stay away from the slots, man. I think I dropped like $400 in there. That ain't Uh-oh. nothing. You dropped 400 in the party tent slot machine? It ain't nothing come out of that thing. Oh, oh man. We, we should got to empty that out, man. We got to go back and get that. Wow. <laughs> it was some money in there for real. You got to talk to man, customer I don't know service what was about that. that. But it just kept, it kept saying, we's hungry. We's hungry. I was like, this some BS, man. Yeah, it was a setup. It was a setup. <laughs> Audio hogs, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, that went. I'm sorry, man. It was nice. Uh, it was a nice customer service though. about that. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was a nice environment, though. I, I, I thought it was nice. It was cool. It was cool. I did go and get the look, but they kicked me out. They did yeah. kick me out. Well, DJ D Nice was up in the party. Let's talk to DJ D Nice. He was up in there chilling. He was on the ones and twos. What's up, DJ D Nice? And we had a great time. And as a matter of fact, what y'all didn't see is a lot of the people that came off the beach into the party tent. That what? Party, party tent. Yeah. Mm. Wow, they didn't have no wristbands and run ran them out. <laughs> yeah, you right about that. You got to have that band on, sign that waiver. <laughs> mm. I kicked a whole bunch of people out without yeah. that band. On. <laughs> yeah. How they get in? It, well, you yeah. had different areas where you could walk in. We had security walking around, letting them know that they, they had another band. And, and most, I would say, about eighty percent of them went over and got a band. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That was That's cool. About it. Right, 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 right. All right, man. Let me give a shout out to uh, J Rock from Diamond Design. Let me give a shout out to D Solo. Let me give a shout out to Soldier Girl. And let me give a shout out to. I'm trying to think of all my people who came and, and sat with me during the live stream. I think it's one more. Uh, but anyway, D Solo, J Rock, and Soldier Girl, thank you for hanging out with me on the uh, live stream, man. Appreciate it. All right, so let's keep it going, man. Uh, Vernon, let's get into the uh, LED contest, man. Listen, uh, my boy, Atlanta. Listen, I, I know what you said. You said both of these gentlemen in the LED contest it's installed their own lights, right? Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. I mean, and both of them had light the night Zeus and everything. Yeah, they got Zeus. But I want you to talk about, did you see Megatron set up? Did you see the setup? Did you see the, the, the lithium batteries was lit up? Did you see all that? Man, he had that thing hooked up. That's a, the, the good thing about Megatron, man, when he first did his bike, he must have called me about 100 times. Yeah. And I said, hook it here. Do this. Do this. Then all of a sudden, the car starts slowing down. He starts showing up with more lights on. I said, oh, you got it now, huh? He's oh, yeah, I got it. I'm dangerous now. You know, he just make a – usually when they make orders, they got to make phone calls. After a yeah. while, he just started making orders. He yeah. said, all right. Now his bike is showing up with all – he want to take on Slinger, man. I think it's going to be a good battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Vernon, now, now you got to give, listen, did you see the display, the LED, uh, the lithium batteries? Did you see how it was lit? Man, I know y'all cool. Slinger, Slinger ain't got that. that. <laughs> Slinger, Slinger ain't got none of that. Slinger, Slinger ain't got the whole lithium battery tray lit up like that. Man, what I like most about his bike, he has that skeleton hood, and he's ran lights in all the gaps. Yes. So the whole, every seam on the hood has light strips in it. Yeah, that 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 took hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very detail or you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta have the right size gauge wires to mm-hmm. run everything. So yeah, he learned it, man. And now he's doing his own custom areas, like lighting the batteries up and everything. So yeah, him and Slinger, they they can go. It'll be a great yeah. battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, and, and both day bikes, Slinger, Slinger, and Megatron, when they pull into an event, they don't even get to walk away because they got so many people questions about their bike. Both of them get bombarded with people trying to ask some questions about their bikes. Megatron don't even get to walk around because he's steady answering questions about how did you do this? What is that? And stuff like that. But uh, it is what it is, man. So uh, congratulations to Megatron, man. He got his belt. He got his LED championship belt. So congratulations to Megatron from Atlanta, man. Oh, yeah. He, he, hey, congratulations, Megatron. Outstanding. Let me know you're ready to take on me. Take me on with Zeus. Oh, my. Hey, hey! Every now and then you gotta give him a shot at the title. See, Mike mm-hmm. Tyson still—he's still swinging every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Lotus? 
What is that trailer guy talking about? He says, did Sarah challenge Jack on team battle? So Myrtle Beach, team Sarah versus team Jack. I, I know love Sarah, it. She battled Jack and won. <laughs> she did. I'll take that bet. I'll take that <laughs> wow. Myrtle Beach, we're doing the couples battle, right, Vern? Myrtle Beach, we're doing couple battles. That's right. Well, Jack wow. and Sarah can go against another couple. I like wow. that. Wow. Well, because Cynthia and Jarrell got in there, and I thought it was the greatest thing ever. And that yeah. was like, then, <laughs> Hell yes. And then another couple got in after us. I'm forgetting their names. And loved that. And then I was like, Jack, go get Lemon Drop. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. Yeah, then he tried to make me play Lemon Drop, and I said, no. <laughs> Full crush right now. <laughs> talking about each other in team battles. Yeah. She's talking about when she beat you in the team battle, Jack. I have a horrible playlist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So are you trying to say you threw the match? I'm a thug on repeat, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll carry you. Nice man. This that that is what I like about the three wheel showdown. You guys keep inv inventing new things, new contests, new things for for the new year. You know, the the couples battle is gonna be awesome, man. I can't wait to see that. That's hey, listen. Do they get extra points if they if they're matching in matching in their attire? They they got the same clothes. They get extra points, or is it just music? They don't get extra points, but they guarantee to get some extra remarks out of me. Jesus so Christ. <laughs> Cause I think I think most of these couples they kind of they similar dress, dress like each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they they do the whole thing. Like. All star. <laughs> I'm so tired of wearing yellow. We're not doing that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, do you does you and your wife do y'all dress alike when y'all go out there too? Hell no. I'm out no. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. Hey. Jack oh, answered for you. Nah, we, <laughs> we, 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 we're not that cool uh, yet, man. But if that's the swag, we're gonna have to catch up, man. Got a match from head to toe. Uh, he said, "Lemon drop wears a skirt. Jack wears a skirt." Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> That's love. Yeah. That's love. Are. <laughs> Alan and I can match. That's about it. But... <laughs> I'm wow. cool with that, man. <laughs> All right, guys. So listen, we're gonna get into a commercial. I'm gonna pay some bills and then we're going to come back man we're going to start talking about the sound competition so let me get into this commercial and we'll be right back and now the amazing SUTV sponsors light the night if you want to light the night you must get light the night Callaway and Sons heating and air conditioning with 24 hour service get the best get Callaway. Audio Hogs. We strive to create the most dominant audio system that's ever been heard. Power X Generators. The number one source for lithium batteries. Built with the latest state-of-the-art technology. Make it happen. Auto and RV Sales and Repairs is your one-stop shop. For cars, RV sales, RV repairs and full service slingshot oil change at $150. One, uh, all right, guys, and we are back. We are back, man. We are back. Those are my sponsors, man. The SUT sponsors, light the night. Listen, if you want to light tonight, you have to get light the night. Callaway and Sons, man. Callaway and Sons has been in business for over 20 years, man. Heating and air conditioning services in New Orleans, man. If you're in that area, you have to contact those guys. Audio Hogs, man. Go see Alan Jones, man. Listen, if you want him to build you a Dominant, dominant sound system. Go see audio hogs, man. Power X Generations. Generators is Ralph. If you need lithium batteries, if you need that power, call Ralph Muhammad, man, and get you that power you need. Make it happen, man. Make it happen is in Lakeland, Florida, man. Listen, they do full service oil, uh, oil changes for slingshots. They do full services. They sell RVs. They sell. They do RV repairs, man. They even sell trailers. If you need a trailer for your slingshot, man, go see Make It Happen, man. Listen, the thing about Make It Happen is that the the why why they call it Make It Happen is because if they're going to make it happen. They're going to make it happen. All you got to do is show up and have a desire to have what they have, and they're going to make it happen for you. All right, so those are my sponsors, man. Let's get into the sound competition, man. Let's get into the uh um let's get into the inspections, man. Let's get into the inspection. This was the first um 
the first, uh, like I said, this is the first event, first sound. So uh, new builds, a lot of new builds out there. So uh, cozy. Um, uh, Elvin's not on here. Uh, D nice is here. So we had to get into the inspections because we had a, a bunch of new builds, and it's the first event. So uh, cozy, I'll let you take it over for a little bit. You don't want to take it over for a little bit. <laughs> I'll take it. You don't want to take it over, cozy. I'll take it. Phoenix says you'll take it. Okay, Phoenix. Let's let's get it going. So, uh, talk to us about the inspections. I think personally, it was sickening. It was um, handled very poorly. Uh, I think it was um, the contestants is what made it a nightmare. Um, and it was uncalled for. The people that was acting a pretty ass weren't even the ones that was in in the um, competition. Weren't even in featherweight. Okay. They were not the ones that was in featherweight. Mm -hmm. And I've been reading the text message. I mean, I've been reading the the feeds and everything. And. I could been a uh, what's that Facebook bully whatever, um, but I'm not. This is the first time I've spoken out about it, and the last time I speak out about it. Um, okay. The build was done. It was done within. I mean, it was done, and it was done outstanding. It is a featherweight. Uh, the royal the rule says should, and if you know what the word should, again, it's not my fault that people do do not read to comprehend or read to understand. And I'm not insulting anyone's ability to read or what grade level they can read on. It is the word should is a suggestion. Any place in the court of law should is a suggestion. Okay. Nowhere on this law, on this book, I mean, on these rules says have to, must, or will. It says should. Should be in, should be behind cargo or behind the seat. Nowhere does it says have to. Nowhere does it says must. My bike is, uh, nowhere does it says it has to be factored. So all these words that everyone kept throwing out, oh, it's got to be behind the seat. It has to be this. It has to be that. And I'm glad everything is comical because it wasn't then what's the point of making new rules if it's subjective and it's then what's the point? Then I'll bring old lemon drop back if we can we'll just everybody. If we can just subject, just choose what rules, what they mean to everybody. The point of new rules was to follow the new rules. The judges Again, said the new rules. Like I said, because follow. now it's a matter of if you can read to comprehend versus reading to be subjective or reading to be ignorant. The rules. The rules are made to be followed, not subjective. The judges said subjective. it has to be in the factory tub. So it has Do to be. Do you understand what factory tub means? Do you see the word factory anywhere? I don't think so, unless but you have your own no. you written rules. Unless you see your own personal. See, this is why I do not reach out because of. All right, all right, hold on. Let, let's let's let me talk to Cozy. To hold on a second. Let me drop. Let me talk to Cozy and and uh, Vernon and uh, D Nice. Guys, talk to me. All right. Once again, this is a new year first show of the year um we knew that there was going to be some new builds coming out right and we knew that there was going to be some some things that we had to check for when we first initially did look at the box we noticed that there was two compartments which they had the glasses on um which we can see inside which was good everything else fit the narrative of a featherweight at that point However, once it was brought to our attention, and one of the things too is when I walked around to the front of the bike, there was a there was something underneath the dash, 
and it had a cover over it. I asked the question, what is this? I thought it was a sub box. I ain't lying. I was like, okay. Phoenix said, no, that's a gas tank. I said, okay, it's a gas tank. Then it was brought to attention that the sub was in the middle of the two compartments. Once we realized that, we said, no, this bike is, at first we moved her up to light from, from Featherweight based on what we saw initially. Once we realized that the sub was nowhere in either one of them and it was firing into them, we went back to Phoenix after there was a lot of chaos going on in the corner, but we deliberated as the judges as a three wheel. And we came back and said, Phoenix, unfortunately, you're going to have to go to welter. That's the first that's the first category that you can legally have extended boxes, because basically that's what you built. That's what audio hogs built. OK. Um, and if and if audio hogs would like to come on and say something about this. Uh, I welcome you. Um, if not, it's fine. But what I'm saying is I, I take nothing away from the ingenuity, but we clearly stated, well, this everybody's saying it's subjective now, but everybody knows stock appearance is the wall's flat. There's no, there's no extension on the backside. We went through this tremendous amount of times. We, we brought everybody in on this. There was diagrams. And every, everything that we built, there was diagrams. So there was no guesswork on what was legal and was not. Well, um, Paradise said, no problem. I will battle at, at uh, Welterweight. She took it and said, okay, no problem. Once again, Phoenix did not build a bike. Audio Hogs built the bike. They delivered the bike, I'm going to say, right before the show. So I don't know how much time she had to play the bike or what was really in the bike. But the point is, we at Three Wheel did our jobs. We, we, we rectified the issue and put her in the right class. She moved up to welterweight, and she did a good job in welterweight. I'm going to tell you right now on this live that we told her, and I'm saying it on the live, that that bike sounded so amazing, you should stay at welter and build up to welter because – that bike was phenomenal. Thank you. Now, whether that happens, that's that's beyond me. But I think multiple people told you that, Phoenix, mm -hmm. that that it's bike amazing. sounded amazing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it did. But, but with that being said, you're going to have to build up your highs and mids better to keep up. It's up to you. I understand. So, so once again... People saw certain things on what was going on with the thing, with with the conversation, and I will I will say publicly as well, and we will not allow this ever to happen again. All these people that came around that was attacking, and I'm not gonna say they were attacking Phoenix. Some people may have been saying something to Phoenix. I don't know for sure. I was more focused on on other things, but we had to get people to back away from the bike. You guys need to understand something, and and I'm saying this on behalf of Three Wheels. We try to run a, a, a clean show where nobody's feel like they're being threatened or nobody's being afraid to come out. Um, there's a lot of females that come out. Some of them don't have co top cover. What I mean by top cover, my, when my queen's out there, she got top cover. Nope. Most times, people are not going to go after someone if they know they got top cover. All right. I Meaning there's a there's a male figure in the in the in the situation. No man should be running up on any female. Period. If you had a question or there was a concern, you bring it up to us and let us handle it. Now, I know Phoenix, and I've stated on here many a times, I suffer from PTSD myself. You guys don't know what we've been through. Phoenix has been through a lot as well. All right? I, I, I'm not making no excuse for anybody on here, but I want people to understand. People react to certain situations differently. You don't know her well. I'm hoping you guys listen to this. So in the future... If there's a question or concern about something, bring it to us as the platform. Let us make that decision, and then we move on. Because I think right after we made that decision, she went up to welterweight. Was it a good show after that? Yes or no? I'm talking to the people that's on this panel. Yeah. Phoenix, yeah. did you have a good time after it? I know you were still a little frazzled, and you went to you went to uh, you went to uh, auto drive because we all know, and I'm gonna say it too, that when Alan came in and played that bike afterwards. It was even more of a beast. So, kudos to you 
for for holding together for that long and to do your thing. I love everybody in this in this community. I love what we do. Um, I spend my own money. I do all my own things to come out. I have no bias in no way, shape, or form. I never will. But we don't need a repeat of what just what happened this week. Now, like I said, there were some people that was in there making comments that wasn't part of the event. We're gonna make those changes. If if we're doing an inspection, if you have nothing to do with that that level of competition, you're not gonna be around. We're not gonna allow that to happen anymore. Yeah, Vern, I'll let you have it from there, bro. Okay. All right. Um, no, I'm gonna take it. So I'm trying to find a good. I'm trying to find a good spot in my house before I start popping off. But um, yeah, now I mean, somebody just put in a comment. If, if a team was there, it would have been different. It would have it would have been a whole different scenario because Phoenix didn't build that bike. I built that bike, right? Now, if we talk about what a sub supposed to be, it's supposed to be behind the seat. They say it should be behind the seat. Okay, cool. You know what? Now that is subjective, but you know I'll take that, right? Because it did mention something behind the seat. So if it's not behind the seat, then you know I get it. It's it's right there where the waterfall is supposed to be. It is what it is. But the way the situation was handled. Like how everybody's coming at her, calling her a cheater and doing all that. I'm the one that did the bill. She's the one that just showed up to play it, you know? So if y'all got something to say, man, y'all can address that energy to me. So when it comes to the way that that situation was handled, of course, nobody knew that it was going to blow up to be what it was, right? Now, once somebody seen it, you know, somebody should have stepped up. And I think Be Smooth did and, and, and corrected that situation. Because let's keep in mind, people, this is a sport. This is something that everybody wants to have the competitive advantage with everybody wants to be a champion and also everybody wants to have fun as well so let's not forget that part when it comes to this so when it comes to the way that that situation handled okay if it was some discrepancies about how the bike was built okay we talk about the mini stretch not being a featherweight okay we talk about a lot of things that need to be adjusted because of course this is the first show so afterwards we can discuss what needs to be discussed after that first show so if the mini stretch is a featherweight then fine if phoenix is not a featherweight then fine so we need to come together and figure out how do we make this correct you know versus just dogging people and bashing people and being overly aggressive to folks right now from my understanding what i felt like we built was a very innovative and creative featherweight right six speakers one ten inch sub and everything is 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 in the storage area behind it who cares what we did with the with the ports or or, or or where we placed the sub that was my original thought process because nowhere in the rules does it say that we can't move the gas tank to the front nowhere in the rules does it say that it has to stay back there it says that we have to have six speakers one ten inch sub Right now, if we go and we design a monster with those rules, then that's what we do. But if we got it wrong, then you, you know, you hit me up and let me know that we got it wrong. Once again, Phoenix didn't build that bike. I built that bike. So the energy that was put towards her was not called for. And yeah, you know, my team can get a little rowdy. So if, if, if my team was there, when that happened, we would have had a different scenario. So saying this to say that phoenix is not going to continue to be a welterweight i mean if we got to make the adjustments and make her a featherweight then she's going to be a featherweight and she's going to play in featherweight for the remainder of the season so she'll play in featherweight she'll play in lightweight and she'll play in welterweight and that's the goal that we are looking to achieve with that bike from the start and that's what we're going to continue to do as we continue to go okay mr okay, light tonight let me finish this off of, uh I'm in a perfect position here because I don't have any problems admitting my faults or my team's faults or three will show that it, it wasn't Phoenix fault. How this escalated Allen's or any other team it was ours. It was our fault. I can't put it no simpler than that. Originally when we said that we were going to start inspecting the bikes, I envisioned this where we had an inspection tent that's covered. I talk with my board, Tuesday, we're going to go to an inspection process where the owner will pull into the tent with the bike and the people inspecting and they will close the tent off. The inspection will not be viewed by anybody from the outside. It might take us a couple shows to get to this to have the tent made, but it will be done. For several reasons, this needs to be done. First of all, I contacted Alan a couple days ago. I apologized to him personally contacted Phoenix and I apologize to her personally. 
I was extremely busy and had not realized what was going on until it escalated to a point where I realized that it took too long for an inspection process to take place. There's a crowd around the bike. By the time I got over there, you know, uh, Phoenix was being bombarded with uh, questions. And I even said, like Alan said, she didn't build a bike. She just got the bike back today. Um, I want everybody to look at this from a social standpoint. Phoenix is a very small woman. A lot of the men in there are very tall men. They are standing over her and shouting at her. That is her bike. She just got it back and people are in it, pulling the seats back, looking at it. That is not your position. That is not your job. That is our job. We've been a little lax in that, but in the future, we're going to change it for one reason. Alan did a hell of a build. He found what he thought was a great area, came up with an innovative design. The way we're doing inspections right now, if a builder does something innovative like Jack or myself, anybody, and we inspect the bikes in front of everybody and open the hoods, we're virtually showing their competitors what they're doing. And there might be things on that bike. They want, might not want you to see how they wired the bike, might not want you to see what they're using, what components, what gauge wire. When we're inspecting these bikes, we're actually exposing some of the things they're doing that might be away from their competition. So that is why we're going to close off the inspections from here on out. Once again, Phoenix, I'm extremely sorry on behalf of Three World Showdown, on behalf of inspectors, on behalf of myself, because no woman, and most of y'all, Jarrell, uh, Jack, Myself, Alan, we have our girls there. Imagine if she was standing there by herself and that was happening to her. So I'm sure all of you can understand, you would never want your woman somewhere with five or six men shouting at her about anything. Whether she's right, whether she's wrong, whether there's gray area, whether she built it, whether she didn't build it, there's no reason for that. And for that, I'm truly sorry, Phoenix. And it will never ever happen at our event again to any woman under any circumstance because people do not realize what you might have been through whether it's military whether it's treatment from another man or something that you've been in in life to where a man shouting at you to you it's not them shouting at you about a bike it's a man shouting at you and that should never happen so i apologize i apologize for every man out there i apologize for my crew i promise you this will never ever happen again I when you have something new like we're trying to do with the rules, there's going to be some hiccups. There's going to be some builders out here. They got to test it. That's nothing wrong. When I was in Marine ROTC, they call them reality testers. You're going to test the reality of every situation, the reality of what's on paper, the reality of what's going on that going on outside. It, that's fine. It's your job as builders to reality test what we did. It's our jobs as inspectors and on the show to turn you around in the other direction if you do. I think we were clear enough in saying that the speakers should be in the tub, but if we want, we'll make sure we re we reword it. We're also looking at the stretch bike bend stock look and all of that. Uh, we made some phone calls to the people. Uh, we're, we're looking into it. But keep in mind, we're trying to make this better for everyone, for every competitor. I honestly feel that welterweight and featherweight should be a uh, opening door for a new competitor to come in without getting their ass whooped by builders. Featherweight and lightweight. Bro. Featherweight and lightweight. We have to leave a gateway for these people to come in. If you don't believe me, look at the last four or five rallies that's going on. And builders and people associated with builders are the winners. There are no new people participating in these events. If this keeps up, we will have no more sound contests because no one knew is coming into this. When Jack and all of us got together and talked about rules and what we needed to do, we all believed we needed to do something to keep this going on for the long term. So we're still trying to fix it. Just like Alan said, we had one show. We're going to go back and tweak it and see what we can do. We are not a platform that's afraid to make a change. We're not a platform that's afraid for what's going to be said after we make the change. But just know we will make the necessary changes. And I can promise everybody on here that. I can promise the fans on Facebook that. I can promise the critics that I'm going to give your ass something to talk about. 
we are not playing around with this. We're in it for the long haul. If we have to make a change right now, we're going to make a change. And that's going to be that. If you like it, love it. And if you don't go on Facebook and talk bad about me, I don't have no problem with that. Either. But we're going to do what's right for everybody out here trying to do this. And I'll say it. All right. All I right. want to say something to Sarah. Go ahead. When, when uh, you were going through people calling you, saying that you were cheating or what have you, they, I don't recall anyone saying that you cheated to your face. <laughs> now, whether it was because they didn't want to, I don't know. I don't know. If they did, I don't know. But if they did, if they did not, if they did not, it may have been because they didn't want to lose discounts or what have you. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that part of it is. No, like, however, how, however, no, my issue, nobody, with what okay. I'm trying to say to you, I'm not talking, Jack. I'm talking you to Sarah. Like, I'm trying like, to tell you, Sarah. Oh, I'm trying to apologize to you and let you know the difference between what happened to you and what happened to me was when we had a class, what Cozy has said that we had a class one of those days, one of the shows, I think it might have been uh charlotte i'm not exactly sure but one of the shows that we had when he had everybody around your club around your bike the day that he had you play i don't know if you remember the day that he had yeah. you play your bike and we were all around it and he said that was a, and followed the rules and it wasn't it was devastating to me but guess what I, didn't play, an illegal I wasn't hiding anything i wasn't doing anything wrong but from the first i did not hide I anything play, either everyone was out i did not say you hid anything i said i didn't hide anything either and I'm yes. telling you, playing my bike in front of my competitors, and my competitors were under my hood, in my box, in everything. Okay, and I had to stand there every show and deal with that. And I and I just said that I was sorry that that happened to you, and I was trying to talk to you before you I'm, just started I'm losing your ever loving because, mind. Because you're now trying to make it seem like the rules weren't changed for a reason, and I had to completely redo Lemon Drop to follow these rules. And to stick I love three wheel. I want to participate. I want to press play. I want to have fun. So we changed my bike to follow these rules and to show up. And now everyone's saying that rules are made to be broken. When last yeah. year again, last obviously year, either you having a problem hearing or a problem yeah. understanding or somewhere along the lines. The builder okay. just said he built the bike, and you're still going. I brought. I did this. You started this show back saying that you're a featherweight that was the first i thing. am a featherweight that bike is built for a featherweight in not, three wheel not under the the bike is built for a featherweight every other platform but yes. not three wheel it has six speakers it's one sub yes it's according according to the so rules that the bike is built as a featherweight and you talk about go get a lemon drop and uh, from last year and demolish it go get it i don't care oh, whatever y'all build you can line it up against whatever y'all want to do it don't make me no difference <laughs> Three wheel created rules, uh, uh, right? In order to so the subwoofers were in stock, was in a stock tub for a featherweight, two stock tubs for welterweight for a uh, lightweight. You went outside the rules and broke the rules. Who cares? It's over with. So she's a welterweight. That should have been over with. First of all, nobody, I was there at the show. Were you there? No, I don't think so. So when I, when we were at the show, nobody attacked Phoenix. Nobody was even talking to Phoenix. Phoenix actually held back and was on her own back behind the scenes. It The whole video only escalated once. Once she was found to have illegal boxes based on three-wheel sh showdown rules in her slingshot trying to enter as a featherweight. Okay? Once that and happened, every single show. other featherweight went, oh, hell no, that's not fair because we literally... These new rules were supposed to be inside the tubs, with the exception of two inches out front. So, so let me ask you this, Jack. Let me ask you this, Jack. So, if that subwoofer is inside the tub, then this argument is over. Right. So, no, no. It's the box, the enclosure, the enclosure, the subwoofer, everything needs to be inside the box. It's or two inches so forward. Look, let me ask you this, Jack. That's it. If that box is inside. The stock tub is this conversation over. I mean, one, you're gonna have to ask three wheel, but two, exactly. The whole point is if, if so, the but, but you seem like you're the, the one that's making the rules, King Jack. So 
So I'm asking you a question. Okay. If Jack. that box, is, if the sub is in, all right, all right, all right, all right. is this conversation off? Look, look, I, here's look, the thing. I couldn't care less. I will on. make more Hold money down. by gutting every, what you did. I did in 2015. That was nine Hold years down. ago. Ted Hernandez did it in 2018. You just nothing innovative about it. It's hey, cool. Man. Let me end this for y'all. Three wheel is more than about sound. I'm not going to sit on here all night and talk about sound. Y'all know the rules, build the bikes, bring them, we're going to play them. Um, I'm done talking about sound, man. Yeah. You know, I, I came up with sound rules to try to make it fair for everybody to come in and a gateway rule where people can come in a lightweight, featherweight. Hopefully it's going to work. I'm a light guy. I don't benefit from sound at all. I, I'm not going to sit on here all night and hash out sound. Y'all yeah. are builders. Y'all work that out. Can we go on to the next thing, man? Yeah. I, hey, Jack, Jack, love you. Audio Hog, love you. You guys call. You guys talk. You guys talk. You both, you guys, intelligent guys. You guys talk. The rules. I couldn't yeah. care less. But not on here. Rules, the not rules on here. He we, we, I'll build we, a fucking not monster on and destroy everybody. Look, I couldn't fucking we can, care we can, less. We can. That's we can do our own. Look, look, we, we can do a whole look, episode on sound, this. man. We can. Look, hold yeah. up, man. Y'all can do a whole episode with all the sound people in here. Look, I'll say this. I'll say this. If I. If I built the bike outside the rules, then I apologize. I apologize to Three Wheel Showdown. I apologize to anybody who I may have offended, any other featherweight that's in that class. I take responsibility for that, right? Un from my understanding, I did not try to cheat. I left glass so people can see. I did not build it to where we are intentionally breaking the rules, right? And if I built a bike that was outside the lines of what was what it's supposed to be, then I take responsibility for that, and I do whatever I got to do to fix that and make it right. So that's and something that's, that we can talk about offline, yeah. and we can either we can FaceTime me, I can fly you guys out to the shop, we can take a look at the modifications if I need to make any to make it right, so that way she can still remain a featherweight. Do I want this to be confrontational? No. I still want it to be fun. I still want her to be competitive, and I still want to be able to enjoy the sport in every show that we go to. Now, Jack, yeah. I'm a fan, bro. Like, I don't have no hate between I know, that's uh, what against none of y'all. So I'm a fan after and, this, man. Hey, I, look, y'all build the bikes. We'll grudge it out, team on team. Okay. Prize now, money, I will say one thing. Since you did this giant formal apology for Phoenix, what about Sarah last year when she literally had to start her bike? I, I, hey, I agree. Accused? Hey. No, it wasn't. Look, she didn't cheat. She was accused of cheating. You guys figured out she wasn't cheating. Where's her apology? Why? Because she's a like five foot nine fitness model. No, no, What's no. the fucking difference? No, hold like, on. You understand what I mean? She has a man like, there. I think no, 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 no. Right. Jack, Jack you're absolutely, missing. you're absolutely positively right. Like, why is nobody but, apologizing but, but, for her when she went through last year when she didn't cheat? Sarah, Sarah, will y'all hold on a minute, please, Sarah? As you know, when your bike was inspected. Thank you. Like, I, like, I hate drama, you guys. I don't want this. I go don't want to like, commercial, all star. All right, all right. We're going to go to commercial. We're going to go to commercial. We'll be right back. Memorial Day weekend, it is going down with the three wheel showdown in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Yeah, that's right. Three wheel showdown is taking over Myrtle Beach. Bike week at the Beaver Ball, 35 34, Highway 17 in Myrtle's Inlet. It's all happening Friday, May 24th, and Saturday, May 25th at 9 a.m. Light tonight LEDs doing installation for all of your three wheel upgrades. And then Friday at 6 p.m. kicks off the, the sound team battle. If you're not into the sound competition, but your bike sounds really good, and you want to have a whole lot of fun, you definitely want to sign up for the team battle. Then at 7 p.m. kicks off the Light Tonight LED competition, where you can win $1,000 for having the best set of lights and being able to control them. Then immediately after the LED competition, we line up for the Light Tonight group ride to Atlantic Beach, where all the fun is happening. And then on Saturday afternoon, there'll be a live DJ games and prizes, because at 2 p.m. kicks off the official three-wheel showdown sound competition. Over $4,000 in cash and prizes. For featherweight, lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, and the big boys come to play in heavyweight. You just need to make sure Memorial Day weekend you're in Myrtle Beach at the Beaver Bowl.
Baltimore, 35, 34, Highway 17, and Merle's Inlet. Because it's going down, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Black Rally. Posted by the Three Wheel Showdown. For more information or directions, call 210-835-5910 or log on to showdownrally.com. The Three Wheel Showdown is being brought to you by Cozy Customs, Show Chrome, Power X Lithium Batteries, Untouchable Sounds, Diamond Designs, Light the Night, Maryland, Sling to Sling, Charleston, South Carolina, Connected by Audio Designs, DJ D Nice, Light the Night LEDs, Sling Fusion, and the Jones Team LLC. You're not the best ever, bro. Stop it. Oh, God. All right. Um, all right. All right. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. Hold on. All right. Hold on for a second. All right. All right, listen, everybody's on mute. So listen, man. Listen, I gave y'all a chance to talk it out. I wanted you guys to have a conversation and uh, talk it out. Uh, but you guys are not going to be able to do it on Straight Up TV. Straight Up TV is for a hard, serious conversation for the betterment of the Slingshot community. But I don't think you guys are going to be able to sell it here. So I want you guys, I encourage you guys to call each other and talk about it. We're going to move on to the next thing man so um you guys can finish this we don't need to do it here so you guys can talk it out and uh like i said jack love you audio hog love you you guys can talk it out and we're gonna move forward uh vernon you had something to say yeah i just wanted to uh comment on jack man i, I didn't know uh sarah y'all both know when the bikes are being inspected i'm never there i, I didn't see it happen and and, you know, it was never mentioned to me by either one of you. But, Sarah, you know, I love you all to death. I deeply apologize if you were offended during an inspection in any way. But up to this point, until you just said that, I didn't know nothing about what you went through. Um, but for you know, anybody. You all doesn't owe me an apology. It wasn't you guys. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I love your platform. I love this community. I love pressing play. It was all of the shitter and talk and this. And I know everyone gives me shit, excuse my language, for not having tougher skin and I should be tough and I should deal with it. But like, it still hurts. It still gets to you. And I spent all last year smiling and nodding and putting on a happy yellow cheerleader out your face, but it still hurts. And it's disrespectful to Jack, to me, that how freaking hard it works. And especially people who aren't competitors, get into that ring, it's nerve wracking. It's, it's okay. hard. So, so here's the thing. So Jarrell, so Jarrell, you don't owe me an apology, Vernon. At no, all. there's no look. Well, well, no, I, I do because nobody. Do when you what? When you were at the show, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not sure personally, unless there was some other people. But Jarrell just made a point and said, "Who, who went around Phoenix? Nobody. Like nobody even was even oh, talking. Okay. To they were talking oh, to the judges." And okay. here's the thing. The only people I see commenting are people that weren't even at the show. So they have no idea what happened. Here's what happened. Nobody was around her bike except for the judges. The judges literally asked us as competitors, just like they did with Lemon Drop last year, to literally go around and say, okay, if you have a problem, voice it now. There was no problem. I stayed away completely until, until I heard her subwoofers in the, in, the, in the gas tank. Wait a second. That doesn't follow the rules. So I was like, hey, guys, this doesn't follow the rules. Oh, we'll just make her a lightweight. Nope, that's not the way it fucking works. Your rules are literally this. It needs to be in the, in the tub for a featherweight. Second tub needs to go in the, in the lightweight. So now she's a welterweight. So be it. If you guys would have said, listen, this breaks the rules. She's a welterweight over with. This whole thing would have been done over with. There's no feelings hurt, none of this. Like literally, Jarrell was there. And Jarrell, Jarrell said, and Cynthia read the rules out loud there. Nobody even talked to Phoenix. That's the funny part about it. Phoenix actually did a very good job of literally just not saying anything, staying away. She wasn't the one that built the bike. When nobody called her a cheater, nobody, yes. nobody still is calling her a cheater. Hey, yes. hey so, so, so check this out. Check this out. Hey, Vernon. He hey, Vernon, check this out. Let's do this. Let's set up something where we can put up audio hogs against UAS and we just have a battle and we grudge it out and let the bikes do the talk. Oh, we How did about it all we do last that? year. How did, they, it. how did Lemon Drop? Hey, 2024, Who cares? 2024, cares? let's set it up to where we can do it. And, and, and look, we can go, look, check this out. Hey, King Jack, give, it, give me a second, King Jack. You have a platform. Hold on, Jack. Give me a second. Hold on, Jack. Hold on, 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 hold on
we set up something where we just we can set the bikes up class for class. We can use old parking? rules, new That's rules. It don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go back to having fun. And again, uh, if we done something wrong, I apologize, man. I really, really do. And we're going to do whatever it takes to fix it. I'm going to say it again. I said three or four times. But if we want to talk about music, enjoying each other, being creative, innovative whatever y'all want to do back in 2015 2024 last year 2023 let's just make it to where if you can set up something where you can put a date up where we can line these bikes up i would like for me and my camp to line up against jack and his camps and we can just play let, okay. let the bikes do the talking we don't have to argue we don't have to fight we don't have to go back and forth we just have fun with it. If we lose, I'm gonna shake your hand and I'm gonna walk away, no. drink some lemon juice, and go that's home. Not, right? And and that's 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 all I would like to do. And if you could do that, no. Vernon, I, I think that that I'm I'm done having a conversation about it because I don't argue with grown no. men. So if we can move on to the next thing, what you put together is a hell of a platform. I want to continue to keep the energy on that. I want to continue continue to keep the conversation on positivity. I want to continue to talk about all the great things that you've just done in the Mississippi was your first time doing it. The news, everything else, man. And we can let the bikes do the talking. You set it up, we line it up, put it on the flyer, however you want to do it. And after that, you know, we just kind of take it. it, it Jackson agreed that we will set that up. I'm cool with that. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This isn't about one shop versus another. Nobody cares. Here's well, I just made it about that. And if you accept my challenge, then let's accept the challenge and let's oh. do it. Al, Al, let, let, let Jack go. Let Jack finish. Go ahead, Jack. Sorry, Jack. Certain rules. Go ahead. I couldn't care less what the rules are. We're going to stay within those rules and we're going to build monsters. Look at last year. Look at the beginning of this year. Okay. So all I'm saying is this. It's not cockiness. It's just results. But at the end of the day, here's the thing. There's literally rules that have to be followed. And you have, and I'm not standing up for me because I know what I can build. I'm standing up for the, the normal featherweights that come in and have an, a, a normal subwoofer enclosure within it. They want to at least have a chance to compete. So okay? let's do this, so Jack. That's, so that's uh, why uh, Three Wheel uh, decided to come up. That's why Three Wheel went against, went against what all the other platforms did and created new rules. You you didn't clarify the rules with the officials of three wheel. OK, so you were found to have illegal boxes. So be it. No big deal. So then the next time you show up, you, you do that, you know, Jack, not, and, and, and I, I, I took responsibility for that and I accept that. Okay, right. So how about we do this? You and I. Michelle, wasn't, so let, let's do wasn't, this. Wasn't bombarded. Nobody even oh. talked to Michelle. I'm okay, telling okay. you. OK, ask, okay, Jarell, right. ask Cynthia. Yeah. And me, well, I understand, and I and again, okay, I took okay, responsibility okay. for that. All right, guys. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. Look, I think I think y'all totally are just overlooking what Miss Michelle Phoenix just said. Has shit to do with her damn bike. Y'all not understanding how this woman felt. A lot of us females go to these events by ourselves without a male. The difference between Phoenix and Lemon Drop Jack is that you were there with her. Are y'all not listening to this woman tell y'all what was wrong and how she felt attacked? She said she's not worried about the bike because Alan did it. So she knows she didn't cheat. She knows she did nothing Nobody wrong. She's cheater. telling y'all how she felt because she was there by herself being attacked by all these people and nobody was coming to her rescue like you rescue Lemon Drop. Do you understand the difference? So all of what she went through last year, you were there every step of the way supporting her. Mm-hmm. Phoenix didn't have anybody this particular time. That's what I got so out of after, it. After, so after she's after Lemon Drop last year was called a cheater, accused of cheating, everything she was dragged through just because I was, what, close by? It's okay? Because you could have shut that shit down. Oh, you was her man by what? Knocking everybody out? Like, that's the stupidest shit I've heard in my life. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, can I go mute? All right, everybody listen up. Look, I'm here right hold now. Hold on, hold on a second. Right now. No, hold on a second. You listen up, y'all. Hey, hey, listen up. Now, you all let me drop out? Let me drop fucking out. I'm, I, I'm not. Not what anybody said, but, you know. Everybody listen up. Hey, it's okay to be heated about what's going on. Everybody got a lot of passion in what they're doing. Hey, hey tell, tell her not to forget her phone. It. You just got to be constructive about it. Uh Alan, you issued a challenge. They accept that it'd be great. Um, under no uncertain, under no uncertain stance, so I think that y'all tried to cheat. 
I just believe you are an excellent builder. There was a gray area and you tried to take it. You're not going to be the only person this year that's going to have something wrong outside of the rule with their bike. I guarantee you not. But that uh, wasn't the point, Vernon. That's not what Phoenix came on here. That's not what it was. I think no, that was missing. No, I understand what Phoenix is saying. And I, when I called, I explained it. Yeah, I know you were there by yourself. And all these guys are very large and intimidating and shouting. And I explained all that. But for right now, we need to move on to the next thing. Phoenix Phoenix is a seasoned veteran at this. And I'm very mm -hmm. sorry that this happened to her. It will Like I said before, it will never happen to you again at, at one of our events. Whether Alan is standing there or not, I promise you it won't. But any female to come to our event and participate in anything, it won't happen. It, it won't. If I had known that Lemon Drop, even if Jack is there, it's still our job as the people running that platform to gain control of that situation. I don't want people being called cheaters, being booed, none of that. We're there to have a good time and we will be on top of it. Understand, we have the largest sound platform out there. We're doing sound contests sometimes close to 60 bikes in them. That's 60 inspections. That's 60 individual confrontational, possible confrontation situations. We will get a handle on all of this. Just have confidence and that's what we're doing. Everything that we're doing is for the betterment of the community, for the females, the males, the competitors, the people that attend the shows. We haven't had an incident at a show in over two years and we're gonna keep it that way. Um, once again, Phoenix and Alice, Alan, to both of y'all, I apologize. You know, that's why we immediately came up with a solution. We're changing how we do inspections. We're not afraid to make change to correct the situation. We're not going to sit here and say it was nothing we could couldn't have done better. It was, and we're going to make it better. It's that simple. Lemon Drop comes to a show, and we're an expecting her bike. No one else will be around the bike. I don't want anybody shouting at each other. We're there to have a good time. So, like I said, let's move on from this. We got a lot of other things to talk about. I apologize to both of you formally. I apologize to Lemon Drop for what she went through last year, because in the end, you're at our platform and it happened there. So we should apologize. All right. Nice, hey, nice. we accept your apology, Vernon. All nice. right, man. But check right. this out. Um, I'm mad that I didn't get to make it to the casino. <laughs> Bro, I hit so good at the casino too. <laughs> so, so I don't accept your apology for that. <laughs> if there was somebody else with me sitting right over there in the center square that won thousands off one hundred and twenty five dollars. <laughs> uh oh. All right. So what we got? Let's talk about. Uh, let's move on. I will hope uh, Jack and Limit Drop come back, man. Um, oh, so somebody too. tell somebody tell him so he don't leave his phone. Yeah, yeah. I hope they come back. Um, so uh, let's talk about there's a there's a let's talk about the law enforcement man that you had there, Vernon, at the show. Oh man, boy! I know everybody been calling, telling me to get on 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 the uh, chat after everything is going on. Everybody's on here. Let me tell y'all. I don't want none of y'all to take offense to this. But don't get a slingshot and say you're a biker and then get treated like a biker and go and complain about it. If you go to any bike event, Daytona, Bike Week, the police present is, presence is always heightened at those, those events. The police are always pulling over bikers at those events. When you're in your slingshot and you're saying you're a biker and the police start pulling you over, don't holler you're not a biker. Don't holler, I'm not used to this. That is all part of it. Now, don't get me wrong. Please don't get me wrong. We did call the police and say, hey, what's going on? If individuals call me and say, hey, they pulled me over because I had my music playing too loud, then we make an announcement. Hey, turn your music down. There's houses, residential properties, one block over, please turn it down. If they say they don't do LED lights out there, the different states have different rules. Uh, in Virginia, I don't even think you can have them on in the parking lot in Virginia without them being able to pull you over. You got to know the rules to the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they was feasting on bikers. Right, 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 right. On cars, feasting on trucks and trailers. It's just part of it. There's nothing yeah. we can do about it when we call the police. They simply said, if you're breaking the law, you're breaking the law. If you have a violation, you have a violation. Right. Now, we called the captain. He did kind of, things did taper off more towards Saturday. 
Um, the only thing I can do is this. If you got a ticket, when you pay that ticket, keep it. We will let you in any three wheel showdown and that ticket you paid will be your ticket to get in. That's, nice. That's what I can do for you. Okay. Um, Hey, hey, are we talking? Are we talking like one or two, or is it is this worthy of talking about? Are we talking like one or oh, two? Yeah. Or? It's worthy from the standpoint. There's some people that were bikers that bought slingshots, so they kind of know the, the rules. They kind of yeah. know that these things happen. But you have some people that have slingshots and say they're bikers, but they haven't really been bikers. If right. you ever been to, to Beach Week in South Carolina, man, ten miles out, they pulling people over. They checking for registration. They checking for uh. There's rules that people that ride don't know. For instance, in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, if you have a young lady on the back of your bike and she doesn't have a helmet on and she's under the age of 18, they're gonna write you a ticket. Well, how do you know that when you put a girl on the back of your bike and you get pulled over? Right. Um, we were making announcements to keep the music down, keep the lights off. Right. We, we got enough going on on the grounds that you can stay here. If you want to cruise the strip, play the music loud, look at the guys, look at the girls and all that, you're going to be at risk. Don't get a slingshot once again and say you're a biker, then go to a weekend where a bike event is going on and get treated like a biker and start complaining. All right. Nice. Nice, nice. All right, man. But listen, let me talk about the scorecard now. Uh, this was the first event for the uh, 2024 scorecard event, man. Um, and so I posted the uh, scorecard uh, on Facebook. Um, and this is what it looks like. So <clears throat> as you see, you see the, the big number one in the top left corner. That's the first event. The second event will say second event. The third event will say third event and so forth. All right. So it says the event platform. You always know which event it is, where it was at and the dates. Now, I'm also going to incorporate who's on the microphone, who you hear running this whole platform. The important thing I want you guys to see is that I'm going to include the judges. So you will actually know who was in the ring judging this whole contest, right? If they were in the ring for one, one session of the featherweights and that was it, they're going to be on this list. So we had we had Cozy, Jason German, Luch, and Tony, uh, Doby. Uh, those were the judges. And also we have to talk about, um, we have to talk about my sponsors, Light the Night, Callaway and Sons, Audio Halls, Power X Generators, and Make It Happen, man. Now, the far left corner in the far left corner uh you're gonna see the winners of this event right and it was featherweight was lemon drop lightweight was lemon drop uh welterweight was phoenix middleweight was lemon crush and heavyweight was lemon crush and the led champion was megatron now if you move to the right right bottom you'll actually see the top six this is what you pay attention to you pay attention to the top, top six because the top six will tell you who's gonna be featherweight of the year lightweight of the year welterweight of the year or whatever now remember this is just straight up tv scorecard this is not the scorecard for the united states this is just the straight up tv scorecard so the next scorecard you'll see it'll be number two and the document number will be SUTV 2 all right i hope everybody understood that man that's the official scorecard. I just broke it down to you. That's you, got two mistakes. you got some mistakes on there, man. Really? You put me on there under lights. Oh, man. Whatever, man. They won't let me compete, so I should at least get like a half a point for being there and not being able to compete. Can't hell be. no. Hell Can't to the no. Be. What the hell? No. If Dude. you don't compete, why you get on there? Dude, don't you think I should get a point? If I bring a bike and people don't want to go against it, then I should be able to get a point or something, right? <laughs> No. You on mute. You on mute. Come on, mute. You on mute. Give me Jimmy Bell. Oh, oh, Jimmy Bell. Oh, <laughs> tell him. No, tell I don't him. want the Jimmy Bells. I don't want the Jimmy Bells. Exactly. Bell. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I want I want uh, I want Lemon Drop to come back so I can congratulate her, man. I want to actually congratulate her on her on her uh, four uh, championship belts she got. So I hope she comes back so I can uh, congratulate her. But while we're waiting, and hope she comes back. Phoenix, congratulations 
on your uh, first victory of 2024. Welterweight, congratulations. And Woo-hoo! we're proud of you for that. Um, and we know you're going to do better and better this year with this little hiccup. I know it's going to come to pass. You're going to get past it. Um, so congratulations from SUTV. Uh, I won't let me drop the comeback, man. I want to congratulate her. I want to congratulate her. She did an awesome job. Her and Jack won uh, featherweight. They won uh, lightweight. They won middleweight and heavyweight. So I really want to congratulate her. Um, so I'm hoping she comes back. We want to congratulate you, Phoenix. I mean, lemon drop. <laughs> lemon drop. Hi, I'm I sorry. Will. I just, all right. I'm sorry. I want to all right. We all Listen. have moments. We all have I, moments. Listen. It's, it's, I like when I say that I love this community, I love this community. I love pressing play. I love participating. And I know that 99.9% of people out there freaking hate me or have something bad to say or something negative to say. And, I feel like all last season and even this season so far, like I have smiled, I have nodded, I have bit my tongue. I've tried so hard to just let all the negative slide off me and just show it in the ring and just make results in the ring. But it's still, the whole inspection thing wasn't even about us, but somehow it's come back to us with somehow. And it's just, I just want to have fun and I want to push play. and And I hate all this drama and this fighting and, I apologize for letting it get to me. Finally, I get. Finally. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. You're all, you're let all right. me tell you. Let me tell you. Lemon drop. So I've been in this slingshot game for nine years. Sorry. Nine years, lemon drop. I've been in this slingshot game for nine years, and I started issue TV, and I didn't know the BS that goes on in the slingshot world. So Insane. listen, lemon drop. It's like I high get, school. Listen, I, know. <laughs> I, get I get I get it. I get it. I get it to live and drop. So listen, but we need you to stay in this community. People love to see you. You have so many little kids that love to see you. Um, so listen, I want to pop this back up. You didn't see it, but this is the scorecard limit drop. So congratulations for your uh, win in lemon uh, featherweight, lightweight. Uh, middleweight and heavyweight. So congratulations, man. And I want to tell you, you can always tell what number we're on because the top left is going to have a number. So this is the first scorecard of the year. Uh, and I want to congratulate you on your four, you. four championship chains. Okay. I appreciate that. Thank you. I want to congratulate you. Yeah. yeah and yeah. thank you. And I appreciate you keeping track and everything you do with the broadcasts and everything like it does, it makes a difference in it. It is. It's still motivating to me. Yeah, so thank yeah, you yeah. for that. Yeah, and as part of the apology, uh, Cozy and D Nice are going to wear lemon drop skirts when they judge in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I've got oh, plenty sorry, of lemon from... outfits planned. This Did season, I miss something? So... <laughs> Did you all say that that Vernon was going to wear a lemon drop skirt? That's what I thought. I heard. No, I did that it? last week. You missed it. You missed it. You missed it. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, y'all should be proud, both of you sitting down here, man. Women are starting to dominate this sound game. We have more female competitors than ever before. Both of you should be proud of each other. Y'all- and, I, and let me say this. I got into this, Phoenix, because of you, because I heard you play last year, and you are so freaking amazing and so good that I literally turned to Jack and I said, I want to do what she does. And I will stick with this to this day. Like you were my motivating factor. And I'm still like, you're the one that like, it's me and you and I love facing you. I love playing you. And I know people try to pit us against each other and there's all this negativity, but I really, I've got no problem with you. I have nothing but love and respect for you. Like your build now, your build before was great. Like, and I'm telling you, like, I like facing you. I like being in this community with you. And I love that it is. It's two women. Women swept this entire weekend. It was us. We did it. And I just think that we need to just stop listening to everyone else. No offense to everyone else, but we're done. Right. As, women, as, as women by now, you, know, you should only listen to me. Yes. Just to me. You are the exception. I <laughs> That's right. Just to me. What's up, Kenyatta? Yo, what up, what up, everybody? How everybody doing? The trailer god is here. What are you doing on here? What are you doing on here? 
He just snuck in the background. Hey, 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 and sweet, you had about 20 people following you. As soon as the drama hit, you got about 80 followers. So you don't follow the I drama. <laughs> I, 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 I saw that. You know the sweet? You like drama, man. Oh, man. Hey, hey yeah. oh, I got I to say something to TJ, though. I got to say something to TJ. I don't know what's up with that SS22 Arkansas. We're going to cheat next time they pull up because it's nobody gonna challenge them in a talk of war on the sand they six foot four three hundred pounds we ain't doing that we gotta get us a, we're gonna get us a team to go against ss22 arkansas I, I think san antonio got some big guys we might they might get better get up there on them too we might have to do we gotta get a team we gotta get a team right big yeah, we gotta get a team <laughs> Yeah. But hold on, like, this is what I want to say. This is what I want to say, man. Like, um, I understand both sides of Phoenix and um my girl Lemon Drop. No one ran into Phoenix face, right? Phoenix was away from her slingshot. But people gotta understand the um the power of words. You don't have to say anything. You don't have to curse someone out. You don't have to say none of that. It's just the uh, the way the words are delivered, the tone of the words. You know what I'm saying? It was the tone of the words towards her and not towards her. I'm not saying they was talking at her. They could have been talking to me. She's doing this. It's not right. Or they could have been talking to three wheel judges. This right here, or this right here. Even though she's back there, or they're not di directly speaking to her, or or someone can be talking to the couples can be talking to each other out loud, speaking it is still not right because she is right there in the presence of the of the the drama that's going on. So no one got in Phoenix's face. Yes, she was away, but it was just a tone. People were speaking on out loud that was disrespectful to her. All right, my take on okay. it. I was right there. Okay. And um, gotta, hold on, y'all need to stop trying to minimize and, and stop trying to make it seem like because they wasn't in her face, it wasn't in, it right. Wasn't, it wasn't the it's same. Still disrespectful. So, to me, but you it's, led with you led with the but, fact that they weren't in her face, and that's what we need to not do. It's just the fact of how it affected her. Period. Point blank. That's right. Like, don't matter. Right. So they were told, so you, you, you don't have to get in someone's face to be for that person to be feel bad. You see what I'm saying? It was still loud and people had a strong tone in their voice, and it's not and and how it made her feel. You see what I'm saying? Some people can't handle it's just not right. You don't have no business on on screaming or talking among each other, and that person is still right there in that presence. So I understand she felt she felt bad and Straight I seen her eyes. She was crying. Um, I told her personally, I wouldn't even compete. I told her, don't even play her bike. So I give her kudos for even competing in the welterweight class because I feel like she should have never even done it. But still, she was able to wipe her tears away mm -hmm. and stood tall and went in the welterweight class and did her thing. You see what I'm saying? So people got to understand what you say and how you say things around people that triggers them, you know, and it's not right, regardless to me. So, uh, and Lemon Drop, I understand. I got a lot of phone calls on Lemon Drop last year. I got phone calls saying um, Lemon Drop got Jack. Actually, it was two Lemon Drops competed last year. Jack actually had two slingshots in the trailer competing in the sound show that's how she was winning so and i drink like jack only got a 16 foot trailer or 20 foot trailer pulling behind um his rv so if he able to get two slingshots inside that trailer and compete so i'm sure jack heard that too you see what i'm saying and um and a lot of people 
and, and Lemon Drop heard that last year, but the issue was never ever addressed um, publicly. So I'm sure Lemon Drop had to hold all. So I understand why she burst out the way she did because she held it in a whole year and she never went publicly on that on this situation because she no one never like like it's just like this here man like the judges right for instance people always talk about who's the judge and who's the credible judges only three wheel showdown never said reason why they never said lemon drop was cheating because they understood what type of boxes she had all the other platforms, all the other platforms with the judges that they had said they didn't even understand what type of boxing she had. So how is y'all even judging competition and don't even understand what type of boxes she had in her slingshot all year? You see what I'm saying? So, and then the messed up part about it is, that's why I always say like the slingshot community, we need to stop saying it's a family. It's not a family. Because all these people talking bad about, especially Lemon Drop last year, her cheating, she got sub boxes in there and all of that. And at the same time, when she go to a event, they hugging and smiling in her face. And I'm getting phone calls, other people's getting phone calls about how they cheating. So these people had to deal with that all last year. So that's why people hold stuff in and she came out so I don't know if I'm rambling, I don't know if I'm making sense, but people need to grow up in the screenshot community. I appreciate oh, and thank you. Say right now. You rambling, look, you rambling, Kenyatta, but we, can, we get what you're saying. <laughs> we, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, Kenyatta. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me thank Moet for that super chat. He the only one gave me a super chat. Moet, I love Moet. you, boy. I love you, Mo. Boy, hey, Moet says, forget about the rules and press play, parking lot pimp, and show them th slings off and have a dance party. Thank you for that super chat, Moet. I appreciate it, bro. All, All right. right. So I just want every hey, listen, man. Um, it's the first of the year. I think every show was a blast starting off in um, SoFlo, Miami, Florida. They, and they had, they show got canceled because of the rain. They came back, had a great show. Tampa, Florida, Sling Fest, great show. Jarrell, Armour, my guy, Jacksonville, Florida, great show. Uh, Three Wheel Showdown, Sling, um, Luxie. Sling Experience, same weekend. Great show, man. So let's let's move on and um, let's make it do what it do, man. I'm glad to go to the show with y'all tonight, too, man. All Star Straight Up TV, you know. I'm glad to see y'all again, man. <laughs> hey, man. 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 Oh, you see what I'm saying? Oh my. Hey, I'm gonna change your name to OG Kenyatta. Yeah, OG. Yo, Kenyatta. <laughs> you know, you're on here with a TV star now, right? Oh. <laughs> hold on, 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 Hey, what I want to say, I want to say, I want to say to everybody, man, uh, Lemon Drop and Phoenix bikes, both bikes sounded amazing, bro. For me, as a as a slingshot owner, as a competitor, man, both them bikes got bass, they got vocals. That I want, I want everybody to know what type of bills these ladies got. They got bad. Bad bikes. Man. I'm talking about bass. So it's like you're this this whole this whole conversation was about two badass camps, two badass camps. Lemon drop when her when her when the bass drops, the bass goes to in the ground. And Phoenix, her she's got deep bass. Both of you guys are awesome, man. So I want you to know this conversation was about two badass badass slingshots, man. So I give hey. it up to both of you guys. Hey, hey, All Star. Yeah, you know you, you know you gotta give out. You know, Lemon Drop still she she steady setting records, right? She set a record this weekend. You gotta get she oh, you, straight on TV. Gotta get her a trophy. I gotta I gotta get do you know, another. You know you know what record, you know what record you know what record she set right? Which one? She won at two events the same weekend. Never been done before. Christ, that is right, man. Y'all know what y'all should, should give her. 
These nuts. <laughs> no problem for that. I'm going to mute you, bro. Cozy, I'm going to mute you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. You mute it, bro. You mute it. Cozy, you mute it, bro. You mute it. <laughs> I, 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 I think everybody knew that was coming. <laughs> but, but I want to give out. I want to give a shout to all your halls, right? I want to. I want to give a shout to all your halls because he made a statement. Alan made a statement earlier on Phoenix Slingshot. That guess what he's gonna do? They're gonna adjust. You see what I'm saying? You always if if you're not able to adjust, you don't need to get in the ring. Know what I mean, they they know what they need to do. They're gonna make adjustments, and Fiend is gonna come back on top swinging. You see what I'm saying? And she on the scorecard too, by the way, y'all. <laughs> Oops. Wow. She's the first. Hey. She's the first. Let me uh Bro, let me thank no. G Money. G Money, uh, appreciate that super. He gave you five dollars. G Money, I'm gonna mute you. I'm gonna mute you, Kenyatta. I, I, it's a super chat. I love it. G Money, thank you for that super chat. G Money, he says Kenyatta for president. Vote column A one. Laugh out loud. All right. So, so also, I figured out how some people are giving four ninety nine, and some people are giving actually five dollars. Yeah. All the Android users are doing even numbers, five dollars. iPhone users are doing four ninety nine, nine ninety nine, fifteen ninety nine. Wow! So that means Android users is better, then, right? No, we giving out more money. Android is giving out more, donating more money. They doing four ninety nine. We doing five dollars. What's, what's yeah, smart yeah, about yeah. that? I have both. I have both. Yeah. So I'm giving out no money. They neutral out. They cancel out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what Cozy doing, buddy? What's wrong with Cozy? He's <laughs> he's, oh, he's trying to send a super chat. Tired, man. Cozy's sick, man. He's sick, man. You got right, any more guys. questions? No, I, I, I think man. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the floor over to you guys, man. Vernon, uh, any of you and your teammates, uh, uh, staff. Want to talk about something I missed out, man? This I, is the I time want to talk about one thing, yeah, man. This is this is your time. I want to thank the crew of people that I have working at the three wheel, man. A lot of people showed up early to see that how how hard it is for them to set up all those tents, water barrels, run around, make sure people eat. Uh, DJ, judge, inspect. I realized this in the past couple of days, looking at people comparing rallies, which I don't mind people comparing rallies. Um, but I want people to realize one thing. I have a group of people that spend a year putting together 14 to 16 shows, but we keep up with people doing one show. That's a tribute to the people on my team. We can go into a market like Biloxi that doesn't have a dealership. It doesn't have a group there. We go in there naked, so to speak. We still draw 300 people. That's, that's a tribute to the individuals on my team. Everything from the board who's working a year early to the individuals that get up, get there at 6, 7 in the morning to set up the tents, stay out there at 11, 12 o'clock at night. Even the security that sits out there overnight to make sure everybody's trailer is there the next morning when they leave. I gotta, I have to give them a special shout out because most people don't realize they're doing what most people do one time a year, 14 times or more. So I'm gonna give a shout out and everybody get my guys, the, the guys on the side, the people on here, a big ass hand. There you go. I also remember. There's a lot of people after this weekend, they're done. We're getting ready to go to Myrtle Beach, do it all again. When we leave Myrtle, that very next week, you're going to be at Maggie Valley doing it all again. They don't complain. Uh, I ain't paying their ass that much, so, you know, we got to thank them. <laughs> they can't be doing it for them. But I, I, I just got to give them a shout out, man. They're they doing something at a level and with a level of confidence that most people don't realize when you're comparing platforms. This platform is mobile. We are 
all around the country doing these shows everywhere without a hiccup, man. Not a problem. Hey, can I say something? Yeah, go ahead. This last time I won't say no log out, okay? I got to take a shower, man. I know I've been working all day. I work, I'm the only one to work on here. Yeah, I retired and stuff like that. So, but anyway, man, I want to give a um the sling experience, man. Let's talk about that. just a little bit on the sling sling experience. They had a um. Hey, Kenyatta, 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 Kenyatta. We ain't gonna, we're not gonna do that here, bro. You he said you can't call. No, 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 no. It's all no, no, positive. No, no, no. We're not gonna do that here. It's all positive. I promise you, it's all we're positive. We're not gonna do that here, bro. He don't talk about. No, 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 no. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. I, I promise you, it's all all positive. All star. The Sling Experience had a fantastic show, right? Great show, like always. I've been, I've been to three shows, but I feel like that it's just like a football team, right? You got a quarterback on the team, right? And he get comfortable. He get comfortable, and then you hire that. You put that 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 backup quarterback. You go you go draft a backup quarterback, and um. And he put some fire up on that starting quarterback. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like I've been to three sling experience and they had a great year. But I feel like they stepped up to the challenge. So I feel like a lot of people actually need to give a shout out to Vernon for the great show they had at sling experience. Look at the activities they had. You see what I'm saying? Look at all the events, the soul flow flag. They were just acting up. They just had a great time, but they stepped their game on. Look at the necklace. Look at the the floor. They dancing on the floor, so they knew they had. To, they was challenged, and they stepped up to the challenge, and they did a great job. You see what I'm saying? And that's what the sling shot supposed to be about. Just like Allen, all your halls, Jack Underground, they great shops. They challenge each other. So sling experience, three wheel mo, three wheel showdown. It was a, but it should be a a fun challenge. It should be no one trying to compete with it. It should be like, oh, I did this better than you this year. I had this, this, and that. Okay, well next year I'm gonna do this better. Then what it's supposed to be about? I bet you next year I'm gonna do better than y'all. Um, Storm, then Storm should be like, no, nah, Vern, you ain't gonna. I mean, you ain't gonna do. I'm, I'll do you next year. So you still a Rick. We've been doing this nine years. It should be a fun challenge, man. You see what I'm saying? That's what it's all about: challenge each other and having fun. The last note. No, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Hey, man, don't say that, man, because, you know, my wife bike is the peach, so I guess I got to go get some peach clothes and stuff. I can never compete with Jack <laughs> without his lemon attire, bro. You got to get some little peach lemon. shorts. Little I get some lemon shorts. peach shorts. Little peach <laughs> shorts, man. <laughs> I want a full peach outfit. Okay, but hey, back, look, I'm going to say this now because of for everybody out there that said we didn't give them enough notice, this is y'all notice. All the 80 some people, y'all can spread the word. Beginning next April, we got something coming. So now, don't everybody say they didn't find out a time, they might have went in a different direction or whatever. I'm letting all y'all know come April next year, we got something coming. The announcements will be coming soon. So don't make any plans till you hear what we got coming. All right, hold on a second. Hey, uh, yeah. let me thank. Uh, tell Kenyatta ass again. Let tell me thank uh, the Undertaker for this super chat, and I want you to notice the color of this super chat. I want hey, you to notice the color man, of this super chat. He's a party now, man. Yeah. the phone is heat news. Listen, you got to look at the color. You don't see this, Vernon. You missing the point? The color. You don't see this color. It, <laughs> it's important. Listen, wait a minute. He could have gave the whole fifty though. Undertaker has an iPhone. Undertaker, you got an iPhone. You got an iPhone. Thank you, Undertaker. His message is "What up, Alan?" Hashtag Audio Hogs. Hashtag Family First. Oh. Hashtag, hashtag Give Give Vernon half. Listen, man, y'all got to notice the color. Ooh, is that chat. the largest super chat yet? No, 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 no. What's the, the largest? largest one yet? Cozy, cozy customs up there in the right corner. You don't play with him. He got his own color. He got his own color. What did what, what he give you? What did he give you? Cozy, let me, be, listen, let me man. Pull my phone out. Let me put my phone out right there. What cozy give you? He gave me a hundred. <laughs> 
Hey, let me put my phone down. I'm gonna go put my phone down. Like, hey, 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 let me give a thank you to White Lotus. White Lotus, I ain't seen you in a while, man. White Lotus, appreciate that super chat. He says, I love this community. Like every family, there will be squabbles, win, lose, or watching. Let's make history over show. Hashtag Android. Hashtag Go Queens. See? Yes, See? I like it. I like it. That's all right. Oh, That's wait good. a minute. Wait a minute. Good, I got another man. Hey. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second, man. Welcome back, bro. I got one for the game. Did the Undertaker do another one? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Game Changer is in the house. UAS is in the house. Game Changer. Thank you for that super chat, Game Changer, out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I heard the show in Bloxy was great. Congratulations to Lemon Drop <laughs> and Phoenix on their wins this weekend. This should be fun for all competitors. Hashtag let's press play. Hashtag let's have fun. Hashtag <laughs> let's burn you half. That's Alan is on. Oh, wow. Alan is on. There you go. There you go. Game changer. I'm going to put Phoenix on you, game changer. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. We got another super chat. We got another super chat. This one. Look at the color. Look at the color of this super chat. Look at the color of this super chat. If you donate three more cents, you beat out Hogan. <laughs> if, you, if you make a super chat for three cents, you will have the highest one don't, don't, ever. Don't do, a, don't I'm do a family like that. Don't do, do it for only, do it for only three cents. Thank, Thank you, Undertaker. Thank you, Undertaker. Thank you, Undertaker. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, listen, we're going to go on a commercial break, man, and we're going to come right back. We're going to go commercial break real fast, you and we're going to come right back. We're going to come right back. Hello. This is an awesome straight-up TV live stream. Well, I'm here to tell you how you can support Straight Up TV by Super Chatting. The Super Chat donation cost starts at only $1 and up to $500. Your comment will be highlighted very bright. Straight Up TV will acknowledge you. All viewers will see your name and comment. Mr. All-Star will thank you for your Super Chat and read your comment. Just click the dollar symbol according to the amount you donate, determines how long your comment is highlighted for all to see. Thank you. All right, all right, and we're back. We're back, man. Listen, man, we've been on here for an hour and 56 minutes. Listen, uh, we're going to go ahead and close God. out. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go ahead and close out, man. Kenyatta, thank you for stopping through, sir. So we you me out? Hey, hold up. But hey, before you go, I want Undertaker. I think we Undertaker should go ahead and get them three cents, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. New yeah, I do think Undertaker should go get that three cents. No, I think so. Hey, now, 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 what? Oh, ho, 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 Callaway. It, it, it didn't, it didn't, uh -oh. it, it didn't do it. It didn't do it the right <laughs> way, it though, man. Through, man. It didn't go through. Callaway, <laughs> Callaway, you got to give away one hundred dollars and one cent. One hundred dollars for one cent. <laughs> man, y'all crazy. I got, man. I got, I got man, a great idea. Like, let me drop. Like no, tell Jack like to come back, man. Tell Jack to come back. You, you, he don't beat you, cozy. He beat you. You be cold. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hey. Hold on. Hey. 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 Let me take, let me take, take, down, take man. Take it for another super chat. And I'm looking at the color of this super chat. Thank you, Undertaker, <laughs> for that super chat. So, <laughs> you are you sure you want to cut off hey. now? Hey, uh, you might want to stay in there longer. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, he needs to cut this off. I'm gonna need all of them. Y'all, y'all hold on to super chats now. <laughs> Hey, oh, nah, but look, I, I do want to say though, man. I do want to say, Vernon, All Star, man. Look what y'all created, bro. Like this is y'all family that y'all put together, man. And, and, and if y'all didn't do this, we wouldn't have this opportunity to come together. We gonna fuss, we gonna fight, man. But real uh, deep down, man, we all love each other. You know what I'm saying? We love to compete. We love this music. We love the shows, man. And we appreciate everything that y'all put together for us. You know, to give us the opportunity to be able to do this, man. Like, we're going to fuss, we're going to fight, but we know you're going to get it together, and we're going to get it together and make sure it's straight. I'm sure a lot of y'all heard about the whole Undertaker situation, man, and just like that, you know, we back home. 
You know what I'm saying? So this whole thing, it's a lot of people sharing passion. Sometimes it's a lot of emotions. It's a lot of time that goes into this stuff, traveling, building, you know, the money you got to make to be able to afford this kind of stuff, man. So it's, it's a lot that go into it. But I just want to let y'all know, man, we appreciate y'all, man. We, we really, 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 really appreciate y'all because without y'all, I mean, this... We wouldn't be able to do this tonight. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. For the sake of argument, for the sake of mm -hmm. argument, who do you appreciate more? Me or Austin? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Look here. Hey, so I'm, I'm, hey, I'm going to say hey, it like this. Hey, come on. I think, hey, I think that we should put a wage on so we can be like, cool. Donate a dollar if you appreciate burning. Donate a dollar if you appreciate the house. I'm not going to get my bumps, man. Hey, you're probably going to be negative, Vernon. All right. Hey, hey, I'm going to burn on myself. Listen, we got another super chat from Flossy Flaws. Hey, never get known. She Flossy said she got Flaws, man. man. Is that Listen, is that you gotta look at the color. You gotta look at the color of this super chat. You're not gonna see this color much. All right. Uh, hashtag lemon drop. Hashtag Phoenix. Hashtag girl power. Hashtag Flossy. Two point oh. Okay. You might get a half. Just California. One time. Just one time. Hashtag huh? give Vernon half. <laughs> hey. hey. I don't want to blaze over real quick, real quick. Can y'all to look? I want to thank you for what you said. You are right on point, and that was what we were hoping for. When we started Three Wheel, we wanted to recognize that, hey, people come to the shows to see y'all. So we're going to give you money. People come to the shows to be entertained, to do things. I'm so glad that other platforms are now picking it up because it makes the whole community better. People will start to expect more from every event they go to. Hopefully next year or sooner, somebody else will start giving out money too. Oh, star! Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, we uh, we got another super chat. At the look at this, look at this. Let me thank, let me thank, Mr. Beast. Also, he's a official, official SUTV sponsor, Mr. Philip Callaway, aka the Beast, for his super chat. He says, "Please forgive me. Can't get." Can't uh, forget about the champ. Can't Phoenix. forget about the champ. Y'all gotta Phoenix. understand how to how to read that New Orleans text. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you understand when he talks to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He, hey, he typed that in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta understand that. You know what I mean? Hey, you hey, hey, different hey. language. Y'all know these people got something going on in New Orleans, man. They yes. got me so 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 now it should be this right here. So this is how it should be, man. So now it should be since the bar is set. So now back, uh, my boy Lucas out there in Louisiana. What what y'all gonna do? How y'all gonna outdo the Biloxi? How y'all gonna outdo swing experience? My boy out of Memphis Madness. What y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna step y'all game up, man. Get, I think you should get money, man. And send me I a have a good idea. Send me a little bit. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, Queen. You need to make sure you're reading all your super chats. You skip over Phil uh, over his first one, his first super chat. It didn't come through. Yes, it's on here. Mo Wet sent one too. Is it white? Yes. It's, not, it's white. It didn't come through. Oh, it's white. It didn't come through. through. Cozy sent the first, one too. They got dialogue on. Hold, on, hold, hold on, white? please. Hold, please. Pause. Thank you. The first one it says Audio Hogs 2024. Maniac, The Peach, Undertaker, Beast. We got the juice, baby. That was from Phil Calloway, $99.99. Yeah, hey. it didn't come through, though. It didn't come through. He, he, he that's 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 come through. Queen, 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 that bounced. It, 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 it bounced. Second, it didn't come through. There's a second <laughs> one. So at the painter, he did a $99.99 chat. He said, just for my guy, boss mode all day. That was another yeah, queen. $100. They didn't go through. Queen, it didn't come through. When it comes through, it's going to okay. be a color. I'll keep reading. Pause. There's another one. Come on. Cozy. You don't understand. Pause. He ain't getting that money. They are getting their moments. Cozy did a 99.99 dollar super chat said Cozy Custom is in the building. Now, did I get all of them? 
No, I, I, I didn't win through yet. Yeah. Are they white? Hell, I did right before 99. <laughs> I don't see it on It ain't here. come through either. It didn't come through yet. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> hey, it ain't my fault that All Star ain't got no bandwidth over there to take all this money. <laughs> take this money? I don't know. It ain't come through. It, ain't, it didn't come through. Listen, hey, hey, yeah. my, hey, hey, hey your bank account now. too full, All Star. Yeah, you, you got, got too got much in there. Cozy, there's cozy. One. There's no one. one. Cozy, I appreciate that super chat. It just came through. Thank you, Cozy. Uh, Cozy's message is Cozy Customs in the building. All right. I'm waiting for him to come through. I did, what the man of God talking about? What my guy's man of God talking about? Moet, Moet. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, Moet. Well, Thank you, sir, for that super chat. Yeah, just for my guy, boss mode all day. If I don't get a lunch at the next rally, all star, <laughs> or I'm telling you, if I don't get like a shake or some fries or something. Also, why the colors ain't coming up? Yeah, they're Colors. black. Yeah, but they're they should be red and there's red. Callaway. Did anybody beat the thank, thank you, Callaway? Your thank you, Callaway. Is, uh, His message is audio hogs 2024 maniac the peach undertaker beast. We got the juice, baby. I think and your yes. new high is one one hundred. No, it's Callaway. Ninety Callaway. They did it twice. How much so Callaway did? <laughs> No, no, no. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all hey, just either crazy. way. Yeah, Super just, there's I'm no gonna... audio halls got it. <laughs> <laughs> the audio halls win that too. Well, look. <laughs> <laughs> my, my car declined. <laughs> wow. So look, nah, man. I, I just want to say again, man, I really appreciate y'all. And, and Sarah, tell Jack if, you know, whenever you talk to him, man, that it's all love from my camp. And like, he really, 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 really make us work hard over here. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's all love, and it's always been all love. So you know, I can't wait to run into him. And you know, I I hate that things was kind of a little feisty earlier, but you know, it, it's it's definitely all love between us. So whenever he comes back, just tell him, you know, it's like no no hard feelings, no offense. Like if I, you know, it's it's all love, just from from, from from the bottom of my heart. It's all love. And I I'm like putting you too, Lemon Drop. You know, with everything you said earlier, so I appreciate it about family and fighting, and it's hard sometimes. But you're right. At the end of the day, you know, we're all in this to have fun, and that's you know what I'm gonna just remember, you know, and really <laughs> focus on that from this point forward. So, thank you. Well, yeah, Sarah, hey, Sarah, 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 Sarah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. tell Alan. Do he set up your challenge, you and Jack, against him and Peaches' couple battle? How about that? <laughs> I do like the couple battle. Hey, he has to have a I don't have a slingshot. He got to have a Peach outfit on. He got he Peach. Got he got the Peach. Wow. He got Peach. He got wow. Peach. Love that. <laughs> See, that's when I'm going okay. <laughs> Look here. So check this out. Now, y'all, uh, we could do a dance battle. How about that? <laughs> I will lose. That a dance he... battle? Uh oh! Did you say dance battle? Don't make me start at? stretching out around this bitch. Where's 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 <laughs> Does break dancing got... count? Because hey, I hey, hey Phoenix. <laughs> look at the I'm, color. I'm look at the color. Bombi do a dollar nine nine. He ate all the cake up. Yeah, Bombi ate. Bumblebee ate all the cake at um. Bumblebee, man, thank you, Bumblebee, man, thank you for that super chat. Uh, this is extortion. <laughs> it ain't first of the month yet. All star, all star. How Bumblebee gonna do a dollar ninety nine? And he That's ate up all boy. the cake. He, you know he ate up all the cake though. Yeah, did you get a slice of cake? Yeah. Did you get a slice of cake? I didn't even get a case. I didn't get a slice. Yeah, because Bumblebee ate it. Bumblebee ate it. That's why. <laughs> Only I got a slice though, because that one like cake. <laughs> But that was the first day. The second day, I didn't get no cake. Mm, there was two mm, cakes. Mm. There was one on Friday and one on Saturday. Yeah, you got to thanks to Bumblebee. Thanks to Bumblebee. Yep. Light them up. Thanks to light them up. Light them up or it's hey, hey, a cake. Hey. How about that? Vernon, you know, light them up or it's a cake. <laughs> Tell light them up, bring us a cake at Murder Beach. Because <laughs> Bumblebee ate all our cake. Yeah, Tell Jose. Yep, yep, yep. D nice, DJ D nice, man. You all right up there? You quiet, man. You at work? You on the clock? I'm on the clock, but I got a challenge. I got I got a challenge for everybody. Okay. I want to challenge twelve volt, RCB, Diamond Design, UAS, 
Uh, team light them up. Uh, Audio, hogs. Audio hogs. Uh, and beast mode. Uh, Moet camp. And what's the uh, what's the cat the cats from uh, Alabama? K one them. Yeah, Mr. K one and Sapphire. At the end of the year, each shop bring five of it. Five of the category: featherweight, lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, and heavyweights. To the end of the show, to battle it out for somebody to take home the, the shop belt, the shop where belt want, of the year. Where you want to do that at in Charlotte? Um, I, I don't know, man. We, we we need to figure that out. We need, we need, we need, we need a shop. We need a shop belt. A, a shop belt. At the end of the year, like we'll build a shop, we'll have a shop, a shop belt for the prize. We gotta put some money on something like that. About yeah, two grand. Yeah. <laughs> I say, Jesus Christ! I say five. Five grand to the winning team. Yep. I think. Hey, thank fun. you. Let me thank uh Chad Lucas, aka Pit Bull, Pit Bull at Louisiana, man. Thank you for that super chat, Ken. I heard my name. You want the cake for KOB? Did- did you just interrupt a five grand conversation for a nine dollar nine? You heard that? Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, that's my boy. That's my boy. Pit Bull. His event, his event is on the scorecard too. He's going to be having the uh, the battle of the uh, Bayou. Battle of the Bayou. Battle, battle of the Bayou, man. Y'all make sure that's the scorecard event, and it's going to be in Baton Rouge, man. It's going to be in Baton Rouge. Don't get, yeah, uh, Bayou been called out. Bayou been called out, man. What y'all going to do? There's another one going on too. Beast and them are having one uh the middle of next month in New Orleans. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hello. Hey, talk Welcome about Ivy. Y'all got to get started. Ivy, call Ivy out. Call Ivy out. Ivy, call Ivy out. Call Ivy out. Hey, call Ivy out. Call Ivy out. Before we forget, hold on. Look, if we're gonna do this, I need the shops that plan on getting in this battle to contact us, so that way we can figure out how many shops we got coming. So we know exactly how much space we need, how much security we need to have. So everybody's good to go. We're talking about five grand here. So maybe dope we can do it at the Superdome. People saying that's too far for Texas to go to Charlotte. Y'all need to pick somewhere else. Yeah, we're looking. We're trying to make it a more neutral place. Yeah. What? What? It's got to be in uh, Arkansas or uh, Texas City. Because you know you drive for ten hours. Queen, look, queen, queen always, she always defended DTP. She always Damn. defended DTP. Damn. The main thing is, God, she always had it one back. She always got one back, back boy. Man. You better she'll well, stab you in your back. Hey, hey, now somebody yeah, she's, uh, yeah, look, 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 hold on, hold on. Let, somebody just asked, what rules are we going by? Oh my! Oh, <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Yo, yeah. who, who's providing the money? <laughs> hey, what a question. Hey, now look, I do think New Orleans will be a good place for it, for real, for real. I agree yeah. too. Cool. Our Texas team. I agree well, Fourth of July? Fourth of July? No, that's it's too high. No. He, he said no. at the end, huh? He said at the end. He said at the end. At the end yeah. I guess it always feels gonna... good in Florida too. So we don't know. I wish y'all. I wish y'all could get the Phoenix because that would be. Hey, great. DTP, DTP. Uh, won't you get your crew to get a DTP? You got Flossy on here. DTP, right. Flossy. Who else coming out of twelve vote? This is Queen. TJ, TJ. We got yeah, TJ, yeah, DTP. Shut up. <laughs> what is that? Shut up. Well, but so give Texas Queen a, a, a shirt. Right, but hold on. Oh my God. God. Hold on real quick. We already know that Jack's team is under the new rules. Light them up is under the new rules. Who is left? Oh, Audio no, Hogs. Ask- Audio Hogs is already let under the new rules. Let me ask this. Um, let me ask this. Now, we all love Game Changer Bills. So if we could agree as a shop to still allow him to play lightweight, would that be okay? If all of y'all agree. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You've been called out. I know that. This is outside of our regular for what were you saying? Cozy saying no. No, no, okay. I'm saying, no. saying no. Peters is on your team. Your own team member over here, all your team. <laughs> <laughs> Audio right. Hall, Al, you need to cons- you need to consult with your team first, okay? <laughs> I, 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 I think I think I need to just shut up. Uh. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you might get both of us in trouble. 
Again, sure. let me let me let me put my phone let me put my phone on mute. Man. Let me sit down. Hold on, hold on. We got another super chat from Chad, aka Pitbull, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. He says, "Just for Vernon." Side note: When your bike coming out, you don't want the five grand. Damn, Vernon. Well, my light bike is already out. And I got 10 grand on that. So Jesus Christ. My light bike is ready right now. I'll be in New Orleans in two weeks and I'm bringing my bike. So anybody want to come, I'm there. Hey, Bernie, give a shout out to, um, to, to um, the next show, man, uh, in Charlotte. The next oh, show is Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. No, no, no. Uh, Ivy, all star. Oh, yeah. Ivy, I have man. a show coming up. Next, yep, yep. This, this week, right? No, is next this, week. Next week. Yep, yep, yep. Now, 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 y'all, 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 two more super chats, all star. Don't forget your two. Yeah, thank you, Queen. Thank you, Queen. Uh, Absolutely. super chat. Absolutely. Thank you, Queen. Thank you, Queen. Let me send a lovely super chat. Thank you to Soldier Girl. I, I shouted you out earlier, Soldier Girl. She was she was on the table with me for yeah, a long Soulja time. Girl gave me half. Soldier Girl, thank you for that. Atlanta, let's go. Thank you, Soldier Girl. Can I see a hashtag give Vernon half just one time before I get off here today? See hashtag. y'all don't y'all see y'all got Moret fired up now. Moret the painter, Mississippi, Memphis. Moet says ATL we be will be the center. Okay. Mm. Hey, we look, look, be nice. Do this. Be nice. I like what you brought out, but I want to do this too, right? So let's say if we can do a team Texas versus a team Florida. Well, see, now you're only talking about team, two teams. You still got you other teams. You're putting a lot of bike power. Yeah, you're putting a lot of people okay. out there. Look, I, yeah. I ain't all talking right. all that stuff for 10 damn days. All right, let, let me go back to my mute. Damn. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Queen, can you get in the chat for me? Because we got a lot of people in there right now. Yeah, you know these people. Is fine I'm sorry. The, the conversation is really good right now. The conversation is really good, but we got to get in the chat. Yeah, hashtag give Vernon half. <laughs> and ain't nobody saying give Vernon half. Let me go ahead and let you know yeah, that right now. He didn't put it up a super chat. He wrote it. Nobody. I need some real like give Vernon half. <laughs> Notice, I love you to death, man, but you you sold me out, bro. Not a dollar. <laughs> yeah, but you people it. saying Charlotte, that ain't gonna work. Flossie's coming from California, so that ain't gonna work going all the way to Charlotte. New Orleans, that's a good one. Cause they always bring it. What's game changer saying? Game changer saying y'all y'all ain't got to pimp him out like that. He can play whatever weight he wants. <laughs> so don't okay, pimp him out. Said, but I'm yeah. putting that in there for him. <laughs> I got you, game changer. I got you, boo. Who else in here? My boy said he got me. DTP, you know how we do. Boom, hand fit. <laughs> I start hating. That's okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. look at what TJ said. Woo, that's smoke right now, TJ. He said, the, "The west of the Mississippi River against the east of the Mississippi River." So that means New Jersey and Florida on the same team. Uh, TJ, is that what you're saying? So Florida and New Jersey can be on the same team against everything west of the Mississippi. Is that what TJ right said? Now, right now, everybody in Texas calling him and saying, "Shut the hell up." <laughs> hey, hey, TJ, TJ, you don't have to be on mute with me, dog. You gotta put him on mute with everybody else. Jesus, you have to be on mute with me, dog. They gonna have to make you turn my camera off in a minute. I need to be quiet. I think that I think that's a I think that challenge is accepted. Hold on. Hey, you know there is a possibility that my bike will be done at this time too. Whatever, we ain't hearing that. <laughs> hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Let Queen finish finish because I want to make sure. Here at SUTV, we like to acknowledge all our live chat viewers. So, Queen, is there anybody else in there? Yes. Oh, sucker yeah. Lotus. White Lotus yep. said, give Vernon half. Hell no. <laughs> I read that one. Hell no. Are you serious? No. No. But the Game Changer has a super chat in here. Um, All-star. Okay. Oh, Chad has another one as well. So there's two super chats. Thank you, Game Changer, for that super chat. Hashtag, you all don't want this smoke. Hashtag, give oh, Vernon half. Oh Damn. Hashtag, God. give Vernon half. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You owe me a dollar. <laughs> That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted, bro. I can see the surprise, bro. Also, tell Vernon you're going to cash out from a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> see what color it be. 
Hey, I bet you don't need no color. Hey, hold on a second, man. Chad, Chad, man, thank you for that super chat. Baton Rouge, man, listen. Y'all go to Chad's event. It's called the Battle or the Battle of the Bayou. All right, it's coming up on the scorecard. Thank you for that super chat, Chad. He said, "I'll be in Myrtle Beach, Vernon, as always. Bring your bike with the sound. I'll give Vernon half of a turkey burger. A turkey burger. Uh -huh. Bring little All Star. Oh God, bring little All Star hey, with you. <laughs> Good God." I'll see, I'll see if he can come out. I'll see if he can come out that day. <laughs> That's mean. Jesus Christ. Hey, we need to get our own team, the three wheel showdown team. Yeah. Oh, I think I see Blue 2. Blue 2 is in the building. It's, yep, I see him. 12 vote race. Blue two. Okay. Hey. Can the three wheel hey. showdown have a team too? Vernon. I gotta, have, I gotta have some chance of winning my own money. Vernon, Vernon. Why why is Mr. Diamond Design in the chat, Vernon? Dude, look, 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 bruh. Just like Phoenix got to deal with, with audio hogs, Allen. I don't know why the people that are supposed to be on the chat is, is I mean, on the screen is in the chat. I deal with this every day, man. Every day. That's every Mr. Day. Diamond Design. He said he told you he didn't work. Told who? So, so Sean, Sean, Sean. Uh, Miss LT and AKA Triple Threat. Uh, the same link went to everybody on the screen right now. <laughs> same link with everybody on the screen right now. Hey, hey, that's what I deal with every day, man. I deal with it every day. What's up, TJ? What's up, TJ? TJ in the building. You reading the super chats, man? Did I get any more hashtags? Nah, There's another girl. Two or three more times. Game changer. I got another one. Game changer! Oh my God! Give her game changer. <laughs> I just love this color. <laughs> no. Hey, hey I don't like that color. <laughs> I do. I like that color. <laughs> I just love this color. Hey, hey, I I like, that color. Give Vernon another dollar. <laughs> wow. Wow, can, I, can I get five dollars from somebody? Man. Can somebody just give Vernon five dollars? Because I'm at two. Seven. You know, seven is pocket money. They go, Devin, man. Why didn't you click the link, man? Devin, why you didn't click the link? Hey, Vernon, I'm not sending out the link to your people no more. Your staff, man. I send the link out, man. They don't click the link, man. Yeah, but you know, they'll blame me and say, I didn't send it. I didn't get there. Who is it? Who we got here? Who we got here? All right. We got another super chat, man. We got to hold on. We got another super chat. There she goes. Spill it TV podcast. SS World Uncut. Man, I appreciate this super chat, man. Their message is, can't wait to see y'all in New Orleans next month. I'm going to be there. Easy slingshot show. It's going to be a showdown. The beat hey. doctor said that. Oh, that's the beat doctor. Oh, okay. That's the beat doctor, a.k.a. Quan. Did you see that last word? It's going to be a what? It's going to be showdown. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis hey, said the link ain't work, man. I'm bringing, I'm bringing Zeus. I'm bringing Zeus. Hey, I like to announce when I'm bringing Zeus. So all the light companies out there that like to talk noise on social media, my bike's gonna be there. All right, all, all right, challenges. all right. Hey, while we got uh, 60, 60 people on here, I want to congratulate our winners again because I want them to get their shine, man. I want to congratulate Lemon Drop with the featherweight, lightweight. Middleweight and heavyweight, and I want to congratulate Phineas with the welterweight man. If you are not there in Biloxi to hear these two bikes, you missed the treat, bro. You missed the treat. Both bikes sound amazing. Uh, it was we were honored to listen to these bikes, man. These but Kenyatta, these bikes were 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 bringing it bass, clarity, vocals, mid bass, mid range, everything was popping. So, congratulations to these two ladies, man. Game changer is still at it, bro. That's five dollars for me, dude. That's five dollars. Game changer, I thank you, sir. Thank you. He says, <laughs> hashtag Here you go, Vernon. <laughs> hashtag I love this color too. That's for me. That's ten dollars. <laughs> I'm done. Yo, hey, I'm at twelve dollars. Wait a minute, I got another one. <laughs> Soldier girl, soldier girl, soldier girl. Thank you, soldier girl, man. Listen, man, they showed me a lot of love, man. Y'all, y'all know. That's that's to me. Hey, Vernon, 
At Vern, your team is hella professional and full of energy. Whoa, she talked she talk about your team. She said, At Vern, your team is hella professional and full of energy. You run a tight ship. I love it. Hashtag uh -huh. professionalism I'll is everything. Hashtag I'll give Vernon half. half. Give Vernon half. Hey, boy. You, sir, girl. I ain't never get mad at this show. This is going to be the longest show in history. Flossy, <laughs> Flossy, Floss representing California. And she represents oh, 12 Vote. 12 Vote ready. DTP, MOG, Flossy, Bluetooth, Ted, Mad Scientist, hashtag, hear it. Hey, hey All Star, she got to see you another she five hours, so she left her name out. Huh? She left the dirty bird out. She left the dirty bird out. Floss got to redo this. You See another five hours. Dirty bird, twelve vote. Hey, hey, Vernon. Hey, Pitbull. Pitbull just cashed at me five dollars to give to you. <laughs> he just cashed at me. Pitbull just cashed at me, man. He didn't even super chat it. He was sitting through cash app. He said, "Listen." He said, "Give this to Vernon." <laughs> oh my God. Also, don't even worry about it. Vernon don't even got cash app. Oh, <laughs> you know about it. I don't have cash. You got PayPal. It. Got PayPal. It. <laughs> hey, audio hogs. I got, I got, I got something to say to audio hogs. I got something to say to UAS. Uh, Twelve volt, Posey, Diamond Design. I talked to um, Jose and light them up. They got a guy in New Jersey. He be out in about one week. Mm. He putting everybody on notice. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. His he name is James Hundley. James Hundley. Myrtle Beach, baby. Myrtle Beach. I'm just letting y'all know, man. Yeah, that, 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 that Undertaker, he said he ain't worried about it. B Bad Blood said he is not worried about the Undertaker. <laughs> That's New Jersey. He got, well, that got one week to go. He might be big. Hey, we got to start working on the team thing. That might be pretty big. Jesus you got Christ. two more super chats. Oh, hey, let, me let me thank DTP for the super chat, man. Oh, okay. it, DTP. I wish I could have seen yeah. DTP, DTP this weekend, man. I wish you would have been in Mississippi, bro. Uh, his right. message is 12 vote, add Angry Bird. Let's go. Oh, he is a part of them. He didn't even give me a, a shout out on that for no money. We can go and rub, rub that one across. Let's go to Game Changer. We're always looking out for him. Game <laughs> Changer. Game changer, man. Game, I love that color too. Game changer. <laughs> game changer. <laughs> I love this color. Hashtag give Miss <laughs> Give Miss L and L T N this half. God. All star. All star. Can you ask all star? Can you ask your oh, oh, we got diamond design? Oh diamond what? design. <laughs> What's up, Diamond Design? All star. Yeah, man, try to get on this bootleg ass link you have sent me, man. Hey, don't do that, though. Oh, no. Don't do that. Don't do that right there, bro. God, man, damn, I've been bro. trying to get off for the last hour, man. I stopped tuning the bike. You, you, you about to get muted? You, guys. you ain't been on here five minutes and about to get muted. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. All star, can you yes, ask Texas Queen why don't she know who's on her staff at twelve votes? Oh, I thought she's team. She's team twelve votes. She ride with okay, Rollo, well, but she don't know that who's on the team. Cause you've been quiet about it. I ain't heard nothing about you being been moved over. You, you need to check your email. Check your email. Check your email. I'm gonna email. stop all of y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna stop all of y'all because the Undertaker just gave another super chat. Oh, another shit. one. I I mean, check the color. Check the color of the super chat. Thank you, Undertaker. Thank you, man. Sounds good. Alan, open up the invoice. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. What that mean, uh -oh. Alan? Open what up the mean? invoice. Good God. What does that mean? I don't know what that means, but it sounds like... Think that, I, I think that was in response to Kenyatta saying that somebody ain't, uh, don't care about the Undertaker, so no, but, uh, I don't know. We're going to see. Oh. Yep. <laughs> All right, so look. This five grand... We're gonna need a good place for this. Y'all gotta decide what's neutral. It's gotta be it, no, it's gotta be someplace warm. At the end of the year, it's gotta be someplace warm. Yes. Yeah, I agree. 
Florida. But you can't. Florida. It don't matter. Just put the check in Audio House name, and we'll travel wherever. We got to find somewhere warmer. I know. Or do it before. I, do it before the end of the year. I mean, we ain't never had a show in Kansas or Missouri or Nebraska. Now I heard yeah, you mentioned Phoenix. What you was talking about with Phoenix? We're doing a show in Phoenix in November. It's gonna be hot in November to be the end of the season. But I don't know if everybody won't travel that far. But that would be great. Man, that's far as hell. <laughs> I'm I'm just saying, man, I have to transport the hey, I, I vote. I vote for New Orleans. Is but, New Orleans you know, is that half thing? in November? I guess Florida or New Orleans, one or the other. New, Florida's too Florida too far to one like... side. Okay. Vernon. Yeah, Vernon. New Orleans, New Orleans. Vernon. Yeah. Why your staff is in the live chat, bro? <laughs> all of them, huh? I well, already the explained team. to you, all star, that I am not responsible for my own people. I now, have no idea. I want to talk to this young lady because this young lady is heavy, bro. She's heavy on your staff, bro. She is she is tell heavy. Her, tell her, come on, get on. I, I'm sitting the link right there. I, I, the link is there. If she knows who she is, she needs to be on this on this podcast, man. Because I, I she was working her ass off this weekend. Hey, hey all star, her kneecap off. I'm still waiting on all your halls to put. I'm waiting on all your halls to put LJ in the Undertaker box and close it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, Elvin, Elvin, uh, and Audio Hall. Did y'all see the little kid that that laid inside of the rim, the back rim yeah. of the slingshot? Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. That's Eric. Eric Twisted Ooh. Customs from Atlanta. Ah, the little for, for you guys that didn't see it, a kid Let me could sit. Who, who bike was that? Let me tell y'all about Eric. Look, Eric. Let me tell y'all about Eric, man. Let me tell y'all about Eric. Eric owns a, co a, a, a company called Twisted Customs in Atlanta. He's got to be one of the best fabricators, best inventors of stuff. But he's not a social media person. That that wheel, he, actually, he did my wheel. He, he he rebuilt my whole swing arm on my slingshot, and put a a, a three fifty five tire on it. I haven't had a single problem with it. You go to his shops; he got machines for cutting out wheels, cutting everything. But he just doesn't have a social media presence. If he did, man, he probably one of the most sought after builders that's out there. So it's Twisted Customs. He's in Atlanta. <clears throat> Call him Eric. or stop by and just check out his work. That bike he brought to, to Biloxi, did you see that thing? I seen it. We went by his shop and saw it a few months ago when it was raw. It wasn't painted, it wasn't nothing. I gave him some suggestions on laying the lights in. He did it. And um that bike he brought out there was maddening, man. It was straight. And it's yeah. from a guy that does this all, all the time, but he just doesn't put his work on social media. So that's Eric at Twisted Customs. He's been a light the night distributor for about three or four years. So definitely check him out. Eric's right, hold on, hold on, guys. Eric, Eric, Eric built a uh, an electric Hayabusa. Wow. He sure hold did. On, he made an electric right. bike. We got another he super sure chat did. from the Game Changer, man. From the Game Changer. Thank you, Game Changer. I prefer this color. Hashtag fits my budget. Hashtag give, all, give Alan this half. Damn. <laughs> Alan, Alan. That's my guy right there. Hey. Man, that's my. I I tried to get you in lightweight, bro, but I'm gonna take that dollar, man. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Bumble, the Bumble team light him up, New Jersey. He says that uh, that guy on the on the lower right looks like me. <laughs> Who you talking about? <laughs> man, you can't take. You can't. All right, guys. Hey, I need everybody. Everybody. Everybody, hold on for a second. I wanna. I wanna get back into what I need to get back into. Let me refocus. I want to talk to Lemon Drop and I want to talk to Phoenix. And the first thing I want to ask these two ladies, how did it feel to be in the ring for the first time? Well, for the well, Lemon Drop played in the Sling Experience, but how did it feel to be back in that ring where you love to be, where you love to compete? How did it feel? Both of you guys are mute right now, but I want to know how it felt to be back in that ring from pulling the bike into the ring, from the judges looking at you, from everything. How did it feel? I want to know that this is this is this is exclusive information right now. We're gonna start with Lemon Drop. Lemon Drop, 
talk us through how it felt to pull into the ring. Um, it felt great to be back with everyone. It felt great to be back at a three goal showdown. And I feel like for the first time, I mean, I had all last season, but I feel like for the first time, I really felt comfortable. I felt nice. more myself in the ring. I mean, I feel like a, a lot of last season, and don't get me wrong, even now, I was nervous, but I think that I was finally feeling more relaxed. Like I could, they were terrible dance moves, but I was back there dancing a little bit, <laughs> trying to be more comfortable and move. But, you know, it just, it felt, it felt, you know, more at ease, you know, being back with everyone. And it was great seeing everyone. You know, whether they're just being nice to my face or whether they really are supporting me, as Kenyatta said earlier, I don't know. But it was still, it was very nice to see a lot of people and just be back out there. So it was nice. Okay. Well, th thank you. Thank you for allowing me to, as soon as you win, to get an interview. And I want to, I want to get the emotions of ju you just won like 10 seconds ago. And I'm trying to get the microphone to you so I can, I can hear what comes out of your mouth. So thank you for being patient with me with that. Yeah. And I rewatched some of the, I, <laughs> I walked away from you and I was like, what did I even just say? <laughs> Actually, I really do like how you did it because it is. It's like you're on this high and you're not even thinking clearly at that point. I think one of the first things I yelled and you're like, how do you feel? And I just go, I love Jack. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. You did. <laughs> so I have the worst in moments like that. So you'll be sure to get a lot of hilarious things out of me <laughs> this season, I am sure. But... I love that you do that because you're right, it captures the moment and that excitement and electricity after winning. So keep doing that. I like that a lot. So that was awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk to Phoenix now. Phoenix, I want you to walk me through it, Phoenix. And, and tell tell everybody, Mia, how did Mia do? Uh, she did real well. She shook quite a bit, but she made it through. Nice, nice. All right, so Phoenix, talk us through it now. This is your first time in the ring, 2024. How did it feel pulling the bike into the ring? How did it feel press and play? Talk us through it. Um, I just push play and let it rip. Let so, it rip. Yep. And uh, I got a different strategy for the rest of the year. Okay. Um, it, was, it was all right. It was all right. Were you comfortable, a little bit nervous? This first time in the ring this year? Were you comfortable or were you a little nervous? I was comfortable. Okay. Yeah, I was comfortable. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. All right. All right, guys. This is this is exclusive information, man. This is you. We were live just now. We talked to two of the heavy hitters in the game, man. So this is straight up TV. This is what we give to you. We give it to you coverage coverage that you can't get nowhere else man thank you guys for sharing that information with us man i appreciate it so much man we've been on here for two hours and 36 minutes man i want to end this with saying oh i got another super chat hold on man two more we got see you don't want to end it now do you soldier girl soldier girl thank you again <laughs> soldier girl for this super chat man soldier girl i need to get so j-rock D solo, and now we're gonna include Soldier Girl on the panel. Soldier Girl, thank you for that super chat. With one leg, my girl could CC don't stop. Nice job. And at LJ, aka Jackson. All right. And we also got another one for the game changer. Thank you, game changer. Hashtag all star going to the casino tonight. You're right, you're right. Hashtag bankroll. You're right. I appreciate that, man. Wait, you got another one? Man, we ain't gonna never get off here. You got one another one. Man, thank you, Game Changer. I love the love, man. The love is the love. Vernon, be quiet. The love is love. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> the new rules suck. <laughs> Hashtag I miss three wheel showdown. The new man, rules are don't it. suck, man. Just come over oh, there and deal with it. Come on, man. Come play the bike. We miss you coming over here with that nice looking bike. Come, hey, everybody got to come back home. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my comments to myself on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep my comments on Lemon that drop, Lemon drop and Phoenix, make sure y'all screenshot. If you want me to, I can actually email it to you. But screenshot the uh, scorecard, all right? 
All right. So guys, we're going to get out of here, man. Thank you for uh, everybody who came on and shared your comments. This was, I think I, I got to say, this was the best podcast I've ever had, man. This, this was, this was like, yeah, because you got paid. No, 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 not because of that. 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 Oh, wait, wait. We got another super chat. We got another super chat. Hold on, man. All right. Let me thank Liz Leal for this super chat, man. Oh, that's Cruella. That's Cruella. Cruella. Thank you for that super chat. Uh, Cruella played featherweight for end of shop api competition hashtag give vernon half give vernon half <laughs> Damn, look we, no, we are not getting off <laughs> hold on i need two more i need two more man we can't get off hey, hey um baby, can't get off. there was hey, it was um was uh henry ready and did he play in sling experience i i don't know let's just see see if she answers <laughs> Who uh, Corella played in Sling Experience and sounded absolutely amazing. The best I've ever heard her by nice. sound. She absolutely it was a husband. Was did he play? That I wasn't there for that. So I heard I heard um I heard Henry's bike sound really good, but he blew a subwoofer. Um he blew a sub? pimping on, on Friday. But Rollo that, said no. That bike that bike's an animal. Yeah, he said he was uh, uh, DTP said no. He didn't play, he didn't but maybe he was talking so, about pimping. Oh, there she go. Liz, Liz, uh, Cruella said pandemic. No. Okay. Okay. All right. So, guys, we're going to get you guys out of here. We got man. another super chat, man. It's no, another you super lying. chat. You lying, man. I'm not lying, man. Two more. There's two more. It is two more. Yes, but look, man. hold on. Yep. Brandon, Great. Brandon, was you in this magazine? Is this your bike? Yes. That's my bike. It was in the magazine. What magazine? This one, because I was looking for a twisted, twisted customs out of this bike, out of this magazine. Yeah, yeah you know, the magazine the magazines been on the news. <laughs> oh, oh, why did I bring it? Oh, uh, Lord! Hold on, <laughs> hold on a second. We got another. Hey, wait a minute! Don't forget, I did a music video. <laughs> <laughs> a music video. Hey, music hold on, video. Hold, on. <laughs> hold on, man. Yes, Thank you, game changer. He says, hashtag speak on it, Elvin. Hashtag I can take it. Hashtag give Elvin half. Damn. Well, well, I, I, I speak for Elvin. Give me half. That's what I'm talking about. Game changer. You are the man. We're going back to the rules. Send you, girl. Send you, girl. Hold on. Thank you, Soldier Girl. Soldier girl. Soldier girl. Soldier girl. Soldier girl. Thank you, Soldier Girl. Listen, I like this. She says like, share, and comment, and subscribe. Listen, everybody who's watching right now, please like. Share and subscribe, man. Thank you, Soldier Girl. That's see, she's a podcaster. She goes live. She's into production. She knows what I'm going through right now. So thank you. What the hell are you going through? What you going through? You going through? <laughs> I'm going through a lot right now, man. Yeah, you're going through a lot of super chats. <laughs> that's what you're going through. Please, please subscribe right now, man. No, that's what I need to be saying. She she knows right now I need to be saying. I probably haven't said it in a long time, but she knows. I need to be saying it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I need to be saying it too. I'm going through some stuff, y'all. I need some super chat. <laughs> um, here come another one. Here come another one. We never get off. Papa Smurf just gave you twenty dollars. He said, "Give me 15 Wow, man, Papa Smurf, man. I ain't seen Papa Smurf in so long, man. That's that's you one of those slingers, man. Papa Smurf. Hey, hold on, look, Papa Love Smurf. You, won. Papa Love Smurf. You, Papa what Smurf. did you win, Papa Smurf? I think you won best. Light show or something? Who's that guy Didn't dancing in the something? background? I told you I was in the music video. I told you I was in the music video. Yes, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh my you didn't God. know. You didn't know. Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. I told you I was in the music video. Oh <laughs> God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Hey, DJ D Night, put it up there one more time, bro. One more time, bro. One more time. Hey, let me show you one more time. The light the night song, ain't it? He made the light the night song, and made they came and shot a video. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, too much humor out of this for some reason. Hey, D. Post that picture. The picture that you 
keep putting it in, 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 uh, in our chat. Oh, y'all, y'all killing me today, man. Y'all killing me today. But hey, I've been on the news, I've been in the magazine, and I've been in a music video. Hey, mm. Vernon, hey, I'm two killing my bucket time. list. I'm killing the bucket list, bro. Hey, Vernon, right? You, you were in two places at one time. Yo, D, put that picture up. And I was in two places at one time this weekend. <laughs> wow. You got picture, D? Wow. <laughs> Thank you, White Lotus. Thank you, White Lotus, for that super chat, man. Hashtag give Elvin half. Damn. Boy, three wheel showdown getting might be funded next for the next when we stay on here long enough. <laughs> That's my guy. That's what I'm talking Carilla about, man. Okay, okay. Let me get back to it. Carilla. Somebody had a question. Let me get back up. Okay, okay. Answer the question. She says, answer the question, she please. Let's answer. see. What question was it? What's the question? Oh, cause it how? See, no, see, after I think we're talking about the uh, her husband. Remember? I that's, think that's it's, it's in Yeah, I know it's Cruella. She said, "Answer the question." Like, what was the question? It's in her know. super chat. She wants to play. For oh, their okay, work. okay. Hold on, let me see. For competition, EPI. <laughs> Can Cruella? Oh, okay. Cruella play featherweight. Play featherweight. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I, I'm not look. Where's Cozy? He was signaling me yes and no on people. We gotta look at the bike. You gotta Cruella. be. Hey, Cruella, crew, crew. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. What fell away? I'm gonna tell you. I'm, I'm hey that um Cynthia fell away. Sound amazing. I just want y'all to know that. You don't have to find out about a bike if she can fit in there for the team yes. thing that we're trying to do, though. That's what she wants to know. What do you say, Lemon Drop? I oh, said, for the, Oh, for the end of the year. Wow. Well, yeah, for the end of the year. Oh, for the top battle. Never sounded I think. Well. I, I, I think. Wanna, I don't, no I rules. Don't no no rules. Just play. No, no, no. no. I, I, Hold I on. It's going to be rules. Really. We yeah, it's got to be some kind of rule. It's going to be our rules. It's got to be our rules. All right, guys. Let me give a uh, let me give a shout out to uh, Three Wheels Down, Three Wheels Down Slingshot Crew from Louisiana, man, from Victoria, Victoria, <laughs> and <laughs> Three Wheels Down's out of Atlanta. What are you talking about? Nah, they're, they're from Louisiana. I, 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 they're gonna have to give money till I get off here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, this is crazy. Oh, Star, what are you talking about? Three Wheels Down, from Louisiana. Hashtag give D nice this half, half. Fire. Hashtag give D nice this half. <laughs> D nice no, no, no. Right <laughs> no, I was trying to give a shout out to a group in Louisiana, man. They called Three Wheels Down Slingshot Crew. I thought, in, I thought it was Three Wheels Downs in Atlanta, though. Well, they got one in Louisiana, too. Okay. All right. I know some of the young ladies over there. I know Victoria. I know Stacia. I know her. Um, I know a couple of ladies. They got a couple of. Uh, Things going on in Louisiana. Straight up. Wanna, yeah, give a shout out to Orlando, the, the gentleman that threw the walk. Man, he sent a bunch of Can Ams out to our event. He just had a baby last week and couldn't make it. He even sent his mom out to our event to represent him. So yeah, shout out me, to Orlando. Appreciate the support. Let me get let me get uh Victoria, uh three wheels down. Let me get you guys to come on the podcast so I can uh, introduce you guys to everybody. It's uh like I said, they're out of Louisiana. It's called Three Wheels Down Slingshot Group Crew. So I'm gonna get these guys on so everybody can meet you guys. You guys, I'll contact you guys and try to get a date so you guys can come on the show. All right. Um can listen, I give man. a shout out to somebody? Can I give a shout out? Go go ahead. I'll give a shout out to Ken Yada. I read the book. And look, I have to have some notes. I have some notes for you about your book. So that's how I read this book. Y'all see the books? I got questions. I got questions. You want to ask one? I'll let you ask one. I'll let you ask one question. I'll let you ask one question. Can I ask you one question? It was, yep. about the, it was on page 45 where you went to the freak me. What you do? Okay, there? yep, yep. The, yeah, okay. Did you did you do something at the freak me? Like what? You was talking about it on page 45. Y'all gonna get page 40. Look at this book, three page 45. Yep, yes. I, I went to I went to the freak nick, yes. Mm. Yes. That's how that's your official answer. I went. <laughs> he don't want to tell me what he did. He don't want to say nothing else. 
it's on, it's on Tubi. It's on Tubi. Y'all watch Freak Nick on Tubi. Y'all might see it. Right. You didn't oh, make the documentary. Lord. You didn't make the documentary. <laughs> I should have hey, asked. Do you know, know what the started, Kenyatta? Uh, do you know what Freak Nick started? Do I know how it started? Do you know where it started? Yes. Where? It started just as a uh, bunch of fraternities having a picnic. Where? In, in Atlanta. Wrong. Good, good, good plug for Atlanta though. But you wrong. <laughs> Hope that one in your book. We got to fact check your shit. <laughs> <laughs> so when did it start? When did it start? Started at Hampton I went ninety five. I went nineteen ninety five. Free Nick. It, it started at Hampton University. It was called Party in the Park, and then they moved it to Virginia Beach. Oh, that was back in 1975 like, when you said yeah, that, that, that was 87. We drove our big wheels. We was cruising the strip on big wheels. I had a green machine with some lights that was, on. That, that, <laughs> yeah, that was 87. That was before our time. Yeah, right, right. Look at power windows and everything. Oh, hey guys, y'all, y'all don't want deep on guys out of here. Yeah. I'm gonna get you guys out of here, man. Thank you guys for taking time to get on. It's uh, we're at two hours and 49 minutes. And I want to thank you guys for coming on, man. But it's time to go. It's time to go. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. To Let me drop. Oh, congratulations to Phoenix. I ain't got no no more super chats. No more super chats. It's time Good. to go. We can stop. There's no more super chats. Time to go. Kenyatta, thank you for stopping by. Thank Vernon, you thank you and your crew. D nice. Cozy already gone. Cozy gone. <laughs> All right, man. We see y'all later, man. Good night. Bye. Hey, love the show, Bye, man. Love the show. Later. How the hell I get out of here? Oh, just hold your horses. <laughs> Leave. 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 Told your girl say all up in the videos. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got another. We got another super chat. Lotus, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you for that super chat, Lotus. Hashtag half for half all. For all? Mm. <laughs> thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Was that twenty five cent follows? <laughs> Great <laughs> show. That. Great show. Listen, uh, uh, Queen, you did an outstanding job in that live chat. You did an outstanding job. It, it was. It was. The conversation was moving so fast it that was. Oh it's hard God. to. You know. I, one of the main things is to make sure we notice and give recognition for our live because they're part of the they're part of the slingshot community. Yeah. And if you're on the show, you're on the show. But if you're in the live stream, you're part of the community. You're part of the SUTV family. So and they need to be a part of the conversation. So yes, yeah, they I need to be a part of the conversation because all, all opinions count. All opinions count. But man, listen, by far this is my best podcast, man. This this, this was this was emotional this was this was, was celebrations emotional. this was this was everything a podcast needs and i'm glad it happened here because that's what i want to have the hard conversations for the betterment queen for the betterment so betterment. if we got to have that hard conversation but on the other side of that conversation is going to be we're going to we're going to build and we're going to get better i'll have it and i was trying to be patient i was trying to be patient but let me let me tell you something queen let me tell you something man i Uh-oh. thought I thought that the heavyweights were the crazy people. I thought that the middleweights were the crazy people. I thought that the welterweight was the crazy people's. I thought that the lightweight, they're not. The featherweights are crazy. They crazy. Is it, is it more of them in there? Is they're, that competitive. Why? they're just competitive. Oh, they're okay. just competitive, man. They're just wow. competitive, man. So did you understand? Let me ask you, did you understand the scorecard? Did you take a look at it? Cause it's got it's got a lot of information on it. Um, you know, I I've, I've, I'm I'm putting the judges on there, so the judges, so you can look back and see who judged that contest. You know what I'm saying? So but it's, are you it's gonna do that each time? So each time, okay, that's good. each time, each time. And that's I'm telling good. them they need to screenshot, or they can ask me and I email it to them, whatever. But right. that is the scorecard, man. And uh, we're gonna keep this thing fair. We're gonna keep it going, man. But like I said, this was by far. I think we got up to 97, 97 viewers. But you know, 
I, I hate that it has to be the drama that push the numbers. I mean, but uh, but you know what? Soldier Girl said it right here. She said you have to speak on those uncomfortable topics, and she is yeah. so right. We do. We have to. Everybody need to be heard. Everybody need to have their voice. That was what I said last show or a couple of shows ago about us needing to. You no, know, we got to start speaking up on things. We yeah. can't keep being quiet about stuff. We we got to speak up on it because that's the only way it's going to change. Now there's a way to do it. You know, yeah. there's a way to do it. You can't go out there bashing everybody and all of that kind of stuff. And I don't know. I want to apologize to Lemon Drop if it felt like I was getting on her because I really honestly wasn't. I just was feeling Phoenix in that moment of being a female that has done everything by herself in this community. And I know how it probably would have felt had I had a man having my back or just anybody just having my back. So I totally felt Phoenix on that. And maybe I got a little bit into it and it wasn't even my, play wasn't even my fight. <laughs> so I'm mm -hmm. apologizing to Lemon Drop if she felt like I was attacking her. I wasn't, I just understood where Phoenix was coming from, from a personal stance on my oh, end. Hey. And so I'm apologizing to Lemon Drop and Jack if I hurt his feelings, because that was not my intention. I just wanted y'all to hear what Phoenix was saying. That's all, that's all. Paradise, uh, Paradise uh, Shenrika said, <laughs> All stars sound saying? tired. You sound tired. She said, "What?" She, oh, all stars sound tired. Come on, straight man. That was a roller coaster ride, man. Man, if y'all watched Listen, it, y'all saw it. It was. it was good. It was good. It was good. Listen, I'm telling you, both camps are, both camps are at the top of the game, man. Mm -hmm. Both camps. You're talking about Absolutely. competitive. You could you could ask for more. You couldn't ask right. for more. They they all want to win. They all take, they love the game. They all, the DNA, they bleed this. They bleed. They bleed victories. Understood. They're used to being, they're used to being in the winner's circle. You know? Right. They got to be right. there. It's like a drug. I got to get back to the winner's circle. I got to stay there. It's it's crazy, man. But it's 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 really at the top of the game. Uh, UAS and um, Audio Hall, man. Audio Hall. Mm-hmm. Understand, understood. Yep, yep. I loved all them super chats. I want you to give me a total of yeah. just between me and you. That shit was <laughs> comedy. That was comedy, but it was great. Mm -hmm. That was great. And all that hashtag burning, he ain't getting nothing. He wow. ain't put in on this man. He ain't yeah. put in on no, this. Now, no. <laughs> when they when I seen when I seen that Vernon made the news, the local news in Mississippi, I said, oh, I my know. God. I know. Oh, my oh. God. Not, Wrong not, one. not the Wrong. light wizard. <laughs> not the light wizard. Oh, we go here forever now. I yeah. didn't realize he was in these magazines. I have about four or five of these magazines because, you know, of course, I'm in these magazines. But I did not realize his bike was in there until tonight. Yeah. I honestly did not know that his bike, his he was in there. But I have, yeah, I keep these magazines. Yeah, but now I have to have to have to dog tag his because I didn't realize his bike was in there. Yeah, kudos, kudos. Well, Queen, to Queen, uh, I should have took, I took, I should have took better notes. I don't know who the three gentlemen was that asked where you were in Mississippi, but oh. the next time, next time I'll get their name and number for you. Mm. Then you're supposed time. to be my partner. You yeah. supposed yeah. to be my partner looking you, out for me. The next time I'll. The next time I get. Listen, that first guy surprised me, man. I thought he was going to come up to me and ask me something about All Star. That dude came up to me and said, Hey, what queen at? He said, Wait hey. a minute, bro. Hey, that's right. <laughs> wow. Damn. Yeah, you did that on purpose. You didn't get his name and number on purpose. I get, I get his name. Out for you, girl. The next time, man. The next time. Mm -hmm. Real okay. the next time. But it was a great this show, was man. The free food. Was great. The party tent was great, man. It was a great first event, man. In uh, Bluxy, uh, my hotel was good, man. I had a deluxe. I had two bedrooms inside of my room, so it was that nice, was man. Good. Everything was nice, man. It was good. I, the ride wasn't that long. Me and D Solo um, took off. We followed each other. He passed me. I passed him. He passed me. I passed him. That's the way we roll. And that's um, the way y'all roll. Like, huh? <laughs> like five hours and fifteen minutes. We stopped at Bucky's. The Bucky Buck. You know, everybody of got course. Started. lucky book. Of course. Of you know, course. It, it was what it is. It was the first good event, man. It was cool. I Definitely really, truly cool. hate that I missed it. I, I just should have planned for something else. Yeah, I, I didn't have a contingency plan. That's what I should have did, but mm -hmm. it's okay. I'm, it's it's over, so ain't nothing I can do about it. Mm -hmm. I missed it. Yeah, I wanted to get LJ on here, man. Uh, LJ is part of uh, Vernon's staff. And man, listen, this girl works her tail off. 
I'm sick. She, listen, she was serving food Friday, serving oh. food Saturday. She was working at the front gate. Mm -hmm. She was she was everywhere, man. She she works Every her tail off, man. Shout out to LJ, LJ from Atlanta. Hey. Right? Worked her tail off. Come all in line, LJ. Keep them in line. Yeah. Yes, sir. And I got to give another shout out to my boy Megatron for winning the LED, LED contest. So. Is Megatron ready for Slinger for real? Like, is he ready for Slinger? Listen, let me let me break it down. Megatron, oh, Megatron got this thing set up where he make his own lithium. He's he's the do it yourself guy. He won that. Okay. Right, right. He right. does his own lithium batteries now, right? Oh, he's it looks like an aquarium tank, but not like an aquarium tank, but it's, it looks like an aquarium tank, plexiglass. He's got like I think seven or eight lithium batteries in there. They're all wrapped, say Megatron. His hood is already a skeleton hood, so you can see through it. And he's yeah. got LEDs that go through this this lithium box, you know, and it's it's crazy. It's crazy. So okay. if the judges judge it, they're gonna see that, like Vernon said, he's got he's got his lights are placed in particular places, corners, crevices, and all that stuff like that. So um slinger slinger is just slinger slinger, but I think they they might go back and forth, but then you can't forget you can't forget about Big Rod and right. Twist Larry Oliver. He's got the Infinity Lights. He got the Infinity Lights, and he already said I he already said he coming hard. So I, this okay. year I'm gonna focus in. I'm gonna focus on the LED guys, man. This year, yes, it, it's about time. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna focus in on the LED guys, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. We gotta yes. give them a segment. It's always Sam. Sam, come on, LEDs, LEDs. Yes, sir. LEDs, man. Well, uh, I'm gonna let you get out of here, man. It's uh, it's uh, eleven nineteen here in Atlanta, and what it's what ten nineteen? It's ten nineteen, and DJ, you zip your damn lips. How do you know how old they are? He said they too old for me. Oh how the God. hell do you know? You don't even know who they were. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> were they too old for me? I'll start. Were they too old? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen, listen. So. Listen, I'm I'm at the gate. I'm at the gate when they pull in with their slingshot, right? This guy seen me and recognized me. And first thing he says, where's Queen at? Hey, you ain't even got in the gate yet, fool. I love it. You ain't even got in the gate I yet. You hollering it. Queen. Mm, now. You know what? I might have him on video, too. I might have that guy on video because I had the video. The takeover. <laughs> Man. It's all right. Really? Get my damn banner one day. Really? Really, mm. well, we broke the record. We broke the record today. The, my record was ninety six viewers, so we broke it today. We had ninety seven. Okay. We had ninety seven, uh, and I hate to say we broke it with, you know, the hard conversations because that's the reason we broke my record with, with uh, by ninety seven. But it's a conversation need, you, you need to have. We're gonna have to have them hard conversations. So we they got to hear it somewhere. So yeah, yeah, we gotta give them them hard conversations. I agree with everybody. If that's what y'all tuned in, y'all want the hard conversation. SUTV gonna start bringing y'all sometimes, sometimes because that was too emotional for me. Oh yeah, my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go take a bite. Queen, queen, queen. Now I was, I was trying to be fair to both sides. I wanted both sides to talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm I wanted serious. both sides to talk. Um, so I, I, I'm definitely out like, on the fence. I wanted both sides to talk because love both sides. Um, right. But after a while, I had to mute everybody because it wasn't. It wasn't. It, I, I gave them. I gave them an extra couple minutes. I said they're gonna get it. They're gonna get it in a minute. They're gonna work it out in a minute. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. All star. Don't do that. Don't interrupt it because I. Shay Shay, you ever seen Shay Shay? Shay Shay lets his yeah. guests talk. Yeah. He lets his guests talk. Um. Uh. And I was trying to let him talk, man. I was trying to be a good podcast host. To let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Let him get it out. They're gonna work it out. They're gonna work it out. But. I decided to mute everybody after I went on commercial just to, and then it, it kind of came back, it kind of came back again. So it was, it was a good conversation they needed to have. TJ. Oh my God. They clowning me now. That's okay. TJ, you damn right. Everybody want, all of us wants to be a celebrity, a SUTV celebrity, a, a sound competition celebrity. Damn it. I'm a celebrity now. I'm a celebrity. You That's right. You make sure you at the, make sure you at the next show, man. I will be. I told you I got my contingency plan. Oh man, Audio Hog. I didn't get my t-shirt from Audio Hog. Man, we supposed to got two t-shirts from Audio Hog. I forgot. Oh, to wear them tonight. Y'all better yeah, give us gonna wear t-shirts. Y'all want us to represent y'all. Go on and give a free t-shirt. I'm repping Polaris tonight. And that's just because I had it on earlier. 
Yep, yep. So I'm definitely gonna have Soldier Girl. Soldier Girl. Soldier Girl. She said have room, gentlemen. Queen, I know you gotta Yo. go. I know you're busy, man. Let's get out of here, man. Yeah. Yes, please. I, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye. Listen, now, I thank you guys for taking time, man, to get on Straight Up TV, man. I am your slingshot platform, man, for YouTube. Anytime you feel like you want to come by, man, if you have a conversation, man, if you have something to say that for the betterment of the slingshot community, man, please contact me and come on the show, man. So uh, let's close out. Let's close out with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Give me your... Uh